What's up, baby? <laughs> it's your boy LeVar Ball, the number one baller on the earth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's Black Friday, but every Friday is motherfucking black when you fucking with the balls. You understand? <laughs> Make sure you lick the balls <laughs> and the gooch. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all Thanksgiving and had extra hub helpings of turkey. And speaking of turkey, motherfuck that motherfucker Donald Rupp. I called him a rub because he's an asshole. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to see you on Monday Night Raw, motherfucker. I know you see me there a couple weeks ago. I done took my shirt off and all that. I got, my, I got LiAngelo shooting 90% from three and 100% boofing. That's right. He's out here boosting and boofing, baby. And we out here balling. Cop the sneakers. They only half a stack. If you got half a stack, cop them. If you don't, use a broke boy. And we don't broke boy ball with broke boy ballers. You understand me? Because I ain't balling. It's LaVar Ball signing out. Have a happy, happy holidays. Shout out to you, Senior. <laughs> she licked the balls real good. <laughs> episode 89, motherfucker. Actually, it's episode 90, nigga. <laughs> Hold that. Live from Red Bull Studios, New York. Catch it to end there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the episode ninety, like the man, Max. <laughs> Ravioli noodles. Episode ninety, <laughs> the right angle edition. You know what I'm saying? We obtuse out here. Angle dance, angle dance. Join the angles now. Yeah, that's right. Episode we did ninety of these shits. Yeah, this is a special subdued edition. Couldn't you late at yeah. night? We're recording this Thanksgiving Eve yeah, it's right cold. now. We in Red Bull Studios. Cold. We're cooking up a Thanksgiving feast. Yeah. Your man Victor's over here on the yams. You know what I'm saying Miro's over here making some beans and rice shit yeah, that yeah, we're gonna yeah. leave on the far end of the table. Uh, uh, I'm uh, over here making sweet potato pies. Gonna have mad strings in it. <laughs> like you eating choke that got hairs. You go like. <laughs> Who ate the sweet potato pie? On the Why left, Hassan's so bringing some greens. I get the white people scared. Like, what is that? <laughs> Why is the salad what, soggy? So it smells like, what, it smells funky. And Red Bull is providing the turkey. The turkey is based in Red Bull. Uh, that shit's going to get off and uh, run off the table. Like, ah, oh, happy, uh, happy Thanksgiving, uh, motherfucker! Uh, she going to run to Black Friday sale? <laughs> then jump off the roof of the full dog like, and show like, oh, <laughs> give me wings. <laughs> Nah, seriously, we got the special on deck cranberry Ooh, edition. Oh, red, nah, it's not a real thing. That's not. <laughs> Imagine you slamming out of a cranberry Red Bull Damn, yo, while you slamming people at your job and shit. Like <laughs> the table like, Auntie, your wig is fucked up. Yo, this shit is actually cranberry, though. You, you're right. <coughs> it is. Oh, it is. Yo. And it's oh, not even, doesn't that. even have ridges. No ridges. Hey, you know straight out the can. Hey, it's episode 90. Live from Red Bull. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Diet. It's your boy, Jesus Nice, aka Jesus Vice, aka Young Chipotle, aka Pocket State Fast Like Chris That Pursling, the Eli Lippy, Butchers Bully Gully, somebody that might know you, bitch. Young Dave Hardy, Young Hot Take, DJ Fuego, Mr. Nando's, Mirando, Bill of the Veta, Quattro, the Nueva York, Mikhail going off, the Juve Boss, MC Luca Gumpy, put up from Rich Forty, Richard Shorty, aka Don't Talk to Me in the Opal. I don't fucking know you talking about. I don't even know you. The original one plus one got a plus one, so don't make a fuss, son. Just act like this is your job and you've done this before, you idiot. Jesus Rossi, the Jamaican Jew, Jermaine Avocado Toast. Oh, my God. The Mufasa, Young Chakunami without the Kunami, aka Tilly Lamone. Left hand to relieve it for the Yankees. Obviously. Okay, okay. <gasps> Vice Game Matthew Zaka, three phone Jones, Jesus and Mike, and a J. Chuck with Stanley Cup, the human Dr. Bonner's label, dilute, 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 Dino de Trapio, Mr. 240P, because I like my Pinot Blurry. <laughs> DJ will like, AK, you're listening to Wash <laughs> FM. Oh, next, we got Vanessa Williams. No, not that one. The one that used to be Miss USA, and then she took pictures and showed her children oh, lost the title. Damn. The Curry Gold, Jesus Spicer, Jamal Hatchburn, the Bronx Celine Dion, Ray and Nephew's nephew, the Marino, you can't contain all. The human memory, where did y'all? Young Era on the Racist Provocateur, Henrik Budquest, Nothing Bank Della, Sergio Can't See Me, Vladimir Boofin, the Ooh. human words are melting in your mouth, Mr. Bex on deck, and Tin, Ricky Ticket Squabby, Greg Pop. Bitch. More says with the chestnut Mahatma Gandhi. Damn. Not Maccabee, but they got the cool combo. Cool combo. I think the use of press, but your boy never is. Damn. I am the art, damn it. Damn. I am the art. Damn. That's the shit, nigga. The Dun Dada Ganoush. No more cup of noodles. The Prince of Peckham. The Fashion yeah. Nova Casanova. William H. 5 cent, 10 cent, dollar. Forget the small change. Give me Bitcoin. Wine. And that doesn't mean, bo listen, if you come to me with some Bitcoin, I'll slap you in your face. The only anthem I salute is Dipset. Dip Mr. Dip Saga. Dip Catch me at square Ooh. one, top left. Trill Rizzuto. Holy cow. Catch oh me in money God. store. Mr. Soft Pop, because all I do is count monies and jerk off. We got Ooh. OJ, uh, Purple Stuff, uh, Soda, and it's me, Sunny D. Yeah. David, you're man. Mr. Chop Nestry, easy, bad, breezy, like I'm easy. Please believe me. The black idiot act. Wow. I bring back like an automatic crap bag. Mr. Lamarine, the mess marina, fresh Mr. Mina, cold demeanor, aka Yo. your problematic babe. Mwah. Maybe you don't invite your mother to Thanksgiving tomorrow because she breathes heavy. Oh, damn. And I'm back Jesus' wife. She puts singles on the top, she's trash. You know who it is. It's your boy, the camera, aka Human Direct Flap, aka Donovan McDab, aka Curve Gotti, aka Curve. Trees Khalif, huh? aka Skip Loader, aka JC Fantic. I'll go sell you shorty. And I will not leave fingerprints.
bad. AKA, I know fucking baby, I fucking man. AKA, check the guest list again, you fucking coward motherfucker. The name is definitely on there. Right there next to Shorty, they play to Panga and Boy Meets World. Fuck out of here, respect the shit out of you, call the promoter, nigga. I'm not stepping to the side while you fucking check the guest list, nigga. I make a whole choreographed dance number to Gucci again that I perform with my little marrows at the Garden State Plaza because I'm the fucking dad of the year, aka Bitch Mac Beyond Boy, aka Feel the Ass Tyson. Frying El Messi MVP Alvin Mota, aka Tom Brazy. Sure, you got my balls kind of deflated, but I'm still gonna win the AFC by cheating. <laughs> Big up my nigga Slick Billy Belichick, <laughs> aka the Dominican Dada, aka Barlo Santana, aka Blam de la Blam, aka Romeo Santos. Tu favorito, mami. So zany. Let me black out. AKA, dick in your big motombo, you know, come in this pussy no more. This pussy belong to me now. AKA, Ben Barson. My hands are gifted. I'll replace your frontal lobe with a strange Louboutin sneaker. Now your brain is a SoundCloud rapper. Lincoln bio, nigga. Holla. AKA, Light Nail Touchy. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. That you broke ass and you're fine. So stop the fuck off, nigga. Get off my block if you don't even got ten niggas. We smoking dubs over here. I'll open your fucking medicine cabinet and please secure your beds as you fucking win. Cause it's the Zed, man. Skin of a weed up, my bottle bow. AKA Rico Sabroso, AKA Baby Lupo 25, AKA mm, Daniel Benningfield. Mm, I ain't gonna get some sticks. AKA Nino Brown, shut the car down. AKA V East Tree, my Stevie B. Mm, I wanna be the one your DD is fucking. AKA Pull Up from 50. Holy shit, I had no idea Oklahoma was this boring. Fuck, I miss New York. You know who it is? Barmelo's Anthony from Green Bang, aka the blind sign stooping over in the sky. One day you will find me smoking weed on Tremont, listening to some shit you don't even comprehend. Shazam, that nigga, find out. If you see me in Target, high as fuck, price checking Imagine X blind bags for my kids, nigga, approach me like an earth sign mammal with caution. A esa tira me la pista, que lo que es mi gente llegó el hijo Titi FIFA, coño, sonando como un 38, frenando todos los sábados un Dykeman, con un blon, un cadenón, y tres chapis con la chapa hecha, llega la flow que está en la verdadera grasa, manín, agarra tu mujer que fue pa'l patio con su incontada, y se hizo la lipo, ahora se quiere tirar pa' este lado, oh my god, que loca, no te pases, que te sueno, que coñema, episode 90, toma, prende la hoca. All right, uh... <laughs> Uh, I'm just looking at my wife. I'm like, if, she, if he doesn't lower his voice, I'm gonna call the cops. I swear. I'm gonna give him four more minutes of this yeah. shit. I don't understand what he's saying. I don't know. Maybe he's killing a chicken over there. I'm like, fuck ice, motherfucker. Wait, I don't know. He's like, it's probably some sort of uh, what do you, what do you call it? Uh, Rob- you kill my brother. You best kill me, motherfucker. He's doing that thing. What is it called? Uh, <laughs> that guy. I'm so smooth. Santana. Yeah, he's doing that uh, Santeria. Is that shit. <laughs> so he's got weird sounds coming from his apartment. I guess. <laughs> Nancy, I'm gonna call the cops. I'm not pussy. Just don't push the issue. You're pussy, Sherman. You're, uh, okay. You're dead pussy, my okay, nigga. Okay, if I was Sherman, sure, like I, dead ass. If, like, I, you're if pussy. I was pussy, if I was pussy, listen, would I have dialed the nine and the one already? Listen, we've been living here for a month, and I've been hanging out with Cardi B every night at Mama Sushi. You're a dead pussy, my G. Okay, okay, I'm dead pussy. <laughs> yeah, go find your find your trophy wife. Yeah, I throw away all your fancy beauty, huh? Well, if I was pussy, would I do that? You know, respect me over here. Put some respect on my name. Tired of you Fuck and the here. fucking hairy back Dominican I don't doing care. his AKs at three in the I morning. I don't care. Okay? He's picking me up in a half an hour. We're going to Mofongo house. You, Nancy, <laughs> Nancy, you know, you make me so GD. I, I, it hurts my heart to have to raise my voice at you, but I, I don't want to say this, but. No. You're a dub. <laughs> you are a dub, and you've oh. been a dub since our wedding day. Oh. My mother said you were a dub. My sister said you were a dub. I knew, I knew you were a dub. Oh, my God. Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's so hot. I'm so hard. Call me a dub again. You, you worthless dubbington. Oh, my God. You, you <laughs> princess of Dublin. <laughs> you threw the ink ten. <laughs> this thing is lit. <laughs> that's all for tonight's episode of White People Masturbate to This Theater. <laughs> Gentrification. That's our porno. Gentrification. What's two? Yeah. Everything's up to the watches. Right. Right. The only thing going up. Uh, ah. Shit. Excuse me, landlord. <laughs> What's the Wi Fi code here? <laughs> nigga drinks off on a kill leaf. I'm sure he eats it. Yeah. It's like nasty. a fetish. Yeah. Nigga fucking <laughs> do the wobble cocky into like a French press and just pour it on her. Like, ah. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. You should get her backbone out on your fucking unicycle. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck me on my fixed gear. Yeah. <laughs> just walk into her piano store on 125th Street. Guys, you guys got me. Oh, when did the cheese shop close? Mm, I got your cheese right here. Dick cheese. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know they say, once you take cock and hard, let me black. <laughs> Fuego. Oh, oh. You never heard? That's a, that's a old 80 saying. <laughs>
<laughs> the return of problematic light. Problematic light is on. <laughs> Shout out to problematic light. It's LED. It's sponsored by Home Depot. Yeah. Home Depot. Yeah. Get all your clothes. Home Depot. You can go and be like, wow. I really should call an expert what to do this. Oh, fuck this. <coughs> I'm not even going to have the Home Depot niggas because they fuck it up every time. God damn. Home Depot lie to you because you go to some shit. You be like, Pfft. Nigga, I could do I that. I could do this shit. <coughs> yeah, I could definitely build a bunk bed by myself. Track solar lighting in my backyard? Psh, yeah. Nigga, easy. give me a Phillips screwdriver. I got like, this. Easy peasy. Or oh, the worst is when you try to, you get a piece that you got to replace, you go to Home Depot, you be like, you just get like a fucking, I had a fucking, what is it, one of those luminescent lights or whatever the shit. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'll just take the shit in. Like, Man, the cool. shit, they only come in like four sizes, right? <laughs> No, no. It's How 48 the fuck? I had one that was like 37.5 inches. I was like, what? Bruh. Who made this? I went there to get a bag of screws. <laughs> it came out there with the absolute wrong screws. I'm like, yo, I thought niggas just had, like, just what's the standard screws? screws bro? Yeah, my like, Uncle Barrett says, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking two types yo, of screws. You have an island key for that? You must be, you must uh, lose screw. Oh, <laughs> you're mad. Cool, uh, people from the other aisle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying two screws. <laughs> Just for another <laughs> two screws, two screws. Come on, come on. I'm mean, gonna call him two screws from now on. This is not the point. Like, uh, paging uh, Victor to the uh, screw department. There's a man here looking for two. Uh, yes, two screws. Two screws. <laughs> Just hear mad people laughing at you. The Mexicans in front that ask you. Oh you my help god, he said two screws. Totally, he said two screws. Hey, tell me why you need two screws. Oh, I'm like, I know what the screws are. They're like, which screw do you want? I need the. Uh, the, the plus sign one. <laughs> I just need a long one that... The uh, what? Not the one with like the a, X. For the like one a, that looked like I'm throwing up the Bronx, but to the side. To, yeah. yeah. That's it's a, like kind of like... I need the Bronx screws, yo. Yeah. That's what they are, right? They be like, the Phillips? They be like, nigga, who's fucking Phillips? Phillip? Phillip, nigga. No, I look like a Phillips, nigga. Look, Start the fighting the nigga. Like, yo. <laughs> freaking bad. Yo, take your apron. Take your apron. Who the fuck is Phillip Pop? You see my girl with a nigga named Phillip? That's how you feel? Bring that same energy to self-checkout. Yo. Let me tell you something about old people. If your apron is too creative, you don't know shit. You don't know shit. Because they let niggas write their name on their apron and niggas always, always got to fucking graffiti and shit. Yeah, like, oh, I'm like, I ain't fucking with you, my nigga. Because you were uh, true religious and your shit is in graffiti. So if, unless you sell me spray paint, I don't want to hear it. Oh, man. No, what they like to do, they like to stay aisle adjacent. So they go be by the toilets, be like, yo, I'm not in charge of the toilets. Know, I don't know. Like, nigga, you're not gonna. It's not international waters. Like, nah, if nah. you if you help me with the toilets, you're not gonna have to fill out a whole new form nah, of shit. Fam. Stanley, Let's fuck out of here. Yeah, yo, yo, I'm not. This, I, yo, I'm I'm really the flower guy. I'm yeah, not I'm the toilet just, guy. I'm I mean, like, I belong in a nursery, really. But I'm, saying, I'm, not I'm no like, fam, baby. it's 40 degrees. What, like, what nursery? <laughs> it's just potting soil and rocks. You're saying, I'm you, saying you're they got raise rakes and shit. Do you want to rake? I got I got a mulch. Dick shit mulch itself, my nigga. Yo. Y'all niggas know about mulch. How come mulching is not big in the hip hop community? That's true. I mean, a lot of these niggas live in fucking ten no of anyway, so. No one ever made no fucking rap song about mulching. Like, no no old school shit. You never heard Curtis Blow make a song that, that's the mulch. That's, that's the, the mulch. mulch. And you never hear 21. 21. 21. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight potato peels in my mulching pit. In my mulching pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I put eggshells on that bitch. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Brown and green. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Brown and green, ooh. right? It Let got it earth breathe. Force now. Ooh, ooh, it got earth force now. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. Yo. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> I tell all my hoes. Uh, break it up, break it up. <laughs> hey, y'all, break it up, please. Break up and decompose this beast. <laughs> I got perennials in my yard, nigga. Uh, <laughs> Took the red Lamborghini just to race. No, actually, I went and I raked up. This yeah. is not. This is Nicki yeah. Minaj, and I feel like you guys need to put your compost <laughs> into buckets. Yo, stop playing, yo. It smells crazy. Uh, hip hop, hip hop, and motion. That's the that's the lost six element. Come on, I feel like rap niggas would just throw mad Dutch cuts in a pile and be like, yo, that's motion. This is motion, B. motion. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. We doing it out here. Nothing's worse than opening a bag. Like, you got a plastic bag, you was going to use it for something, you open it, mad Dutch cuts fall out of it. Uh, like, what kind of life am I living? Yo. No, what's the worst? I remember my cousins used to just dump Dutch cuts on their floor or their house. That's like, disgraceful. I was like, wow, you could just do anything in this Bruh, place, huh? I know a nigga I'm never going to blow up your name, my nigga, because I know you probably listen to this shit. This nigga dumped Dutch cuts in the console of his car, bro, for like two, three months straight. I mean, I was like, my guy, what type of life are you living, my nigga? I mean, he's like, yo, just dump them in there. I'm going to empty it out. I'm going to empty it out. Yo. I'm like, no, you're not. There's 20 White Castle burgers in the back. Like, you're not dumping People that live out. like that, that makes me very nervous. Like, when you go to people's house, like, I've seen people eat fat food and just leave it in their car. Like, go. Like, fam, there's Like, how your car smell like in and out and it's never been off the East Coast. What like, what's fuck? going on, ma? Like, <laughs> shit ain't right. Yo. It's like, you open the fucking glove department, it's just mad and fucking what, animal sauce uh, just coming out the shit, just gushing out. Like, yo, what the fuck? Uh, I don't know your last five meals by your back seat. You uh, live in foul. You live in extra foul. Oh, 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 o
<laughs> Nasty. He was at the Walmart? Nasty. So when you're listening to this, it should be the day after Thanksgiving. Shout out to everyone. Had a happy Thanksgiving. Hope you survived. Hope you didn't have to pull the burner out on your bitch ass cousin because he's talking about reckless on Twitter like that shit would have come back. (laughs) Pass the squash. Like, oh, pass the squash. Bitch ass nigga 419. Yeah, I know you're at. Yeah, yeah. Can I see you outside? KD in it out here, nigga. I see you. You're not going to shoot the fair one with your cousin over Thanksgiving. (laughs) Now. We show is. I'm going outside with him right now. Go outside. Come on. Bring it on, you mark ass buster. Come outside, nigga. Put your jacket on. Shout out to all my listeners out there stacking at the dinner table <laughs> make it put them oh, countries under pressure and shit yo, yo someone pass all that bicken mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. what's up with yo what's up with that grandma, what's up with that cranberry sauce huh Harold if you don't stop that bullshit alright Harold stop that bull that gang bullshit at the kids table and shit like yo recruiting little niggas <laughs> this stupid motherfucker he's what's up? Stupid. how old you nine you nine block now, nigga. Let's uh, up. Fuck. Don't fuck with the uncle. He's an op. Harold. Harold. Come fuck that. Don't, Stop talking don't listen to him. Kelly. Don't listen to him. Nigga, don't listen to him. He's, he's, he's crazy. Nigga. You do what you want. You got to do it. He's yo, crazy. So he... give me a cigarette light. I'm burning this He don't even got a job. You want to be like him? Nigga, I got mad clout on the internet and shit. You want to be like him? Nigga, I'm, 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 I'll give you a mad pussy from Complex Chicks. So I got a negative balance and a SoundCloud link. Yo, you want to be like him? She, fuck, no, fuck her. I got 56 listens on my latest track. You want to be like that? Listen. I got a new track called Auntie's a Bitch and I hope she dies soon. You just sit there like, it's not even your family you got invited there. You're like, oh. Uh, what time y'all gonna eat? Damn, nigga, I thought this was Friendsgiving, bro. What the nah. fuck? Like, yo. <laughs> the fuck? Y'all niggas ain't friendly at all. Nah, that's just my, you know, that's just my cousin. He just be, act, he be acting up like that ever since he got out of jail last week. <laughs> Do you like, wait, wait, what? Last, last week? Last week? Yeah, 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 yeah. All his possessions are still in that bag by the door. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Uh, <laughs> they can start having like the. They can stare at you over the table while he eating. Don't make no eye contact. He be like, I know you from somewhere, Playboy. He be like, ah, you don't know me. You don't know me, my man. No, 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 sir. You sure you ain't been in mid state? <laughs> nah. My man Ty, he had a he had like a little wifey in there. Nah, I never. You been, look like no, him. Nah, nah, put some Kool Aid on your lips. Let me nah, see something. Nah, 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 You're like, nah. nah you I'm not. Nah, 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 chill, that's not me. My girl right here. Come on, that's though. not me. And if that was me, that was in the past. Why you make come on? I'm saying that type of. I'm just trying to live better. I now. remember you used to dance on the toilet for nickels. Like, nah, come no, on, man. Like, why nah. you have to say that? Be everybody's here. Yeah, uh, like, let's just let's, let's congratulate <sighs> on Brenda on finally making yams. Not fucking up. Come on, good on Ooh. What food are you looking most forward to tomorrow? Pernil. 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 That's just been sitting seasoning for days. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm hype. I'm getting the semi talking about it right now. I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> sorry. The turkey, I mean, the turkey be, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that be having dry turkey. I don't, I can't relate. I can't relate. My turkey's never dry. You know what I'm saying? I don't Lies, even, I don't people even, say. You know what I'm no one ever admits that the turkey is dry. Everyone's always like, hustles. everyone's always like, my turkey's never dry. My turkey's never dry. No, you I don't got dry turkey. Get the fuck out of here. Turkey is naturally dry. <laughs> Nobody likes turkey. Turkey. If people like turkey, eat turkey other times of the year. The only time people eat turkey is when there's oh, no ham don't. left. <laughs> okay? No one likes turkey. Turkey don't even like us. They're ugly animals. Oh, you live in foul, brother? You can handle like, it. <laughs> they, they even lie to you, and they'd be like. They had to lie and give you the lie of a name for turkey. They call the shit butter ball. Okay? <laughs> Ain't no butter in that shit. You just need to call that shit styrofoam ball. Dry ass turkey ball. And why is turkey dry? Because it's white. <laughs> oh, God. No, Sorry, I'd, have to, I'd like to apologize for that. I was having a nervous reaction to uh, some medicine I had earlier. We'd like to shout to Spencer Narcan. <laughs> shut the Narcan. Shut the Narcan. You got to... Um... You gotta throw something on the turkey. You can't just have it. Throw a little Narcan on it. You know what I'm saying? Because nar- uh, turkey makes you like woozy and sleepy. Yeah. One Thanksgiving, when I had roommates, it was a wild lifetime ago. <laughs> I remember we did lean after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Why the fuck? And we watched a Batman movie. And, like, we just all fell asleep in the living room. That's, that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I was Why like, would you do that? I was like, are we just, they're not going to go out? Why would We're you? just going to sit in this living room and uh, okay. drink lean, 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 lean. Uh, shit's embarrassing. Damn. Shut up, man. Probably, nigga, maybe we smoke dust and watch Underworld. I mean, that's the only thing like, I like to compare to drink a lean and watch a Batman. Shorty started nodding out. She was like, oh, she was God. out. I was like, I think she's dead, but I'm too tired to like get up. <laughs> nah, so. she's still snoring. She's alive. She's good. She's alive. She's alive. <laughs> well, listen. She had a good run. If Jesus did that so you don't have to go through that. Don't do that. Don't fuck with the drugs, especially on Thanksgiving. You don't want to OD in your fucking auntie's living room. No, nah, you can't do that. 
What's that, that shit, like? that shit is whack. You can't do that. They'll be ashamed of you. I mean, if you are, like niggas don't even come, if, they come to your funeral and talk shit about you. Like, yeah, piece but then of you gotta shit. ruin it for everybody else. <laughs> piece of shit. They, like, cause think about it. Now they trying to go home with they take home plates past the fucking ambulance and shit. You, know what I'm saying? you go, you like, say they revive you and you like kind of up. Yeah, and you like, uh, yo, that was my plate. Honestly, where you going with nah, that? Like, nah, nigga, you OD. You you lost your dinner. You lost sorry, your dinner. Those are my brownies now, nigga. Pass some shit. Nah, nah. I'm eating these in the hospital. Fuck out of here. Stop. Chill, nigga. They're gonna have you on a liquid diet for a week. You gotta chill. Like, yo, you gotta wait till after you, you know, after you do your drugs after dinner. Because <laughs> last year I was wild smacked at dinner. Like, yo. But eating food is so fun when you're smacked. Like, I can't not be smacked before dinner. Like, I gotta get, I gotta go outside and face an L before I sit down to eat. Because it's like, you gotta, that's an experience. It's a once a year. I did that and I was like, yeah, no one could tell. No one could tell. I put myself on Snapchat. Uh. Niggas know what it is. Niggas was like, yo, are you awake? I was like, yo. Yo. I was like, yo, call me Hideki Matsui, dog. <laughs> yo, niggas all smack. They don't, t- they don't question it. Like, I mean, oh, but you're like awesome. a father. Like, yeah. it's one thing if I show a smack or some shit. <laughs> they, I got no parent, no kids to be in charge of. No the day. beautiful thing about those type of gatherings is you got 45 titis there that are dying. They never had kids that just dying to hold your kids. So it's like, yo, hold my kids. Hold me down. I'm going to get wild smizzy and watch football. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's like a day off for parents. You know what I'm saying? It's DD day. I guess so. Yeah. Sounds like it sucks, but shout out to uh, us. We have a, no, wait. So the day will have passed already. So hopefully you watched the ball baggies last night. Mm-hmm. No more show on late Enjoy night. That. No more award show on late cowards. night. You know what it is. You're welcome. Enjoy it while you got it because the price is going up. You're not going to see our beautiful faces for cheap much longer. Mm. Okay, niggas, niggas, woo, niggas about to have to cash that fucking Netflix check. The price is going up. Price is going up. I'm gonna come a recluse. You're not gonna see me in public for two years. <laughs> How you feel? Let's come up with a wild Rick Rubin beard. <laughs> Talking wild crazy. <laughs> and sandals. Talking about like, cables and devil. Fuck? Mm. <laughs> Do you know perms? Eat at your brains? I'm gonna be all over the place, man. I'm like, so why's your beard perm? What the fuck is going on? Like, Jesus comes out for the first time in two years. I'm gonna have like a big slab of meat. I'll be like, look. Coca Cola makes worms come out of bacon. Oh, you know, like, shit. That has been disproven that's by Snopes. Sam. Like, what do you. This, that's not a real thing. The internet, yeah, the internet. Do you know if you eat ice, it will go into your stomach and harden the acidic muscles and you'll die? <laughs> and you're like, what? Yo, I think it's because of the theologist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hotep Jesus is back. I got the Hotep hat and everything. That's right. Oh, God. Start to lie and talk about Maxi Pass, steal your blood. Yeah, for, yeah, they reuse it for blood transfusions. <laughs> Y'all ain't know about that? They take him out the garbage, brother. The maxi pad, the prison pipeline. Hmm? Being garbage blood, hmm? brother. Think about this. Maxi pad, maximum supinima, maximum uh-huh. security prison. Oh, mm. shit. Oh, damn. Maxi priest and Shaba. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay woke, my niggas. He was like, what the so fuck like, you he, doing? They was like, I, I lost, he lost me at the second one, and then he lost. I'm, he lost I'm lost, How did he lose me twice? I lost it, sir. I'm, I'm triple loss. Maxi priest? Triple XL. What does that have to do with blood? Is triple X sexation going to... F- Imagine, imagine that's your little cousin. He show up at fucking Thanksgiving and shit. Looking like that. Oh, God. I'm like, boy. I'm like, my man, you got knocked out every day for a week. What is going on with you? I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even care. Just give me some chicken. <laughs> I hate you, uncle. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what's wrong with this guy? Wow. This guy's a fucking nut. Oh, man. Yo, I'd love to meet that kid, bro. I'm just asking him a couple questions. Like, yo, why? <laughs> why you? <laughs> why do you do what you do? You fucking creep. I mean, uh, his family's probably like mad proud of him. No, they're probably, <laughs> you know what it is because your family doesn't get gassed off shit. They're probably just like, oh, that's just whatever his real name is. Yeah. It's like you know, like my family up show the TV shit. They're like, oh, it's whatever, whatever, whatever. It's a guy to show shit. Yeah, whatever. They might be like, oh, Kyle, Stephen Colbert. They're like, oh, you guys want? Who you are? We were on Stephen oh, Colbert yes. earlier this week. Shut Dick Stephen. Solo. Stephen at home. I'm not sure what you just said. <laughs> What? Do, we, do, do I need one? Do I? Because I'm just Stephen Colbert. I don't we have. We call you Young Steve, Stephen Colcuts. Young Stephen Colcuts, aka Canadian Bacon. Here you go. Young Stephen Colcuts, aka Canadian, Canadian Bacon. Bacon. Uh, it's hot. Canadian. It's hot. It's hot right there. You know what I mean? Canadian because I'm so damn pale. Or yeah, do I mean? Canadian because I'm an American. I'm not Canadian. <laughs> no, at you're all. Canadian now. And they was like, oh, you did that. And I was like, yeah. You yeah, know, it's, just, it's nothing now. It's nothing. Yeah, yeah, why didn't you tell me? I'm like, that's just regular shit, baby. Yeah, I was just in LA, baby. Uh, that's what it is. This is a day in the life, baby. Trying to catch up. Just a Monday. I'm sorry. I can't slow my life down, so you got to listen faster, baby. You know what I mean? I'm just out here. <laughs> The only thing slowing me down is the limits you could take out the ATM. And I mean, privately, I don't even want to flex like that. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <coughs> I'm just feeling mad sad today because fucking Joe Barton showed his penis to the internet. Shit. Man. I just want to. Okay. 
Oh, right. I'm trying to forget. All right. <laughs> Yeah, he he sent out a, a nude, nude to like women he was dating back in the day, and it came back on the internet, and he apologized for it. <laughs> you pop shit, apologize, nigga. Just ask kids. But you shouldn't have to do that, cause listen, just own it. Teacher just posted it on his Twitter account, like, like yo, yo, this my dick. Made it his heavy. All right. Everybody forgets that Kanye has a wild dick pic out there. Oh, yeah. nobody forgets. People <laughs> still know. It's floating around. People know. Possible remembers. You got that big, <laughs> got big Kanye cock. <laughs> Yeezy, Yeezy oh, told you. Oh God. Listen, a lot of people have dick pics out there. Joe I'm Button got a dick pic out there. Like, yeah, wow. Neo. Wow, wow. If you go to my new, uh, it's a new service I'm offering called DidMyDickPicLeak.com. Oh, it's an app. It will notify God. you. Okay? If necessary, we can make fake accounts and be like, wow, damn, damn. he's working with a monster. <laughs> or perhaps, I think it was cold when it was taken. Like something <laughs> to help redeem your you get mad dick Russian, rotation. Mad Russian bots to defend your penis on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, it's very big. That dick is almost Ooh. 13 centimeters. Oh, I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, no use inches. God. Use inches. No, no, no. Oh, my Metric. God. That penis is huge. Like Almost as big as Putin's. I'm oh, like, come on. Nah, what kind of fucking really, Come on, these? man. Uh, Stick out the discount bus. I like to suck that dick with potato vodka. I'm like, yo, this shit's not even regional. Like, come on. That's not... <laughs> Uh, I want that dick to fall on me like communism. I'm like, look, Yo. look, the shit. This is what I'm talking about. Vladimir, you're not Yo, trying with these bots. You gotta reporting these dudes. My bro. customers need dick protection. Come these bots is not providing that. These are the wackest macros. <laughs> <laughs> no, my friend, these are the best dick protector bots. I have at least 600 Number lines of dick one. content. Number one in Moscow. Look at this one. Look at this line. Ooh, look at the vein. See, oh, my that's God. good. That's good. Large penis. Oh. Uh, uh, His penis could take over Ukraine. I would stand in line for six hours to chew on foreskin. See that right there, Vlad. That's nah, not. That's see, not what we do in America. Do like, you gotta do that, on, please, bro. Like this is not gonna work. Like, <sighs> this is not gonna work, bro. What about this? Hold on. Let me see. What you got? Dick more powerful than AK-47, nah, which is much nah. more powerful than wimpy American M-16. Nah, I'm like, what nah, the fuck, my nah, bro? No. Does this cool. sound like a Tinder bio to you? <sighs> Yo, forget it, man. Give me my Bitcoin back. Give my Bitcoin back. On, give my give my Bitcoin back. My uh, find these keepers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you believe the Russian law of no black magic, no penny tax? <laughs> <laughs> Get to mining, motherfucker. <laughs> Shout out to Bitcoin. All oh, you idea. people out there that have Bitcoin. I have no idea. Shout out everyone Bitcoin. listening to me die on this podcast. Yeah. Although. Shout out to you people that have Bitcoin. Every day it goes up in value and you think it's sustainable. That's not how. I don't know much about money. That's not how money works. Yeah, I have, okay? no, I have no fucking clue or interest in Bitcoin. I'm like, yo, until motherfuckers buy something with Bitcoin and I can see it, I'm like, uh, and you can buy it? stuff with. You know, what you can buy with Bitcoin drugs, sex, prostitutes, little okay. kids, terrorist, <laughs> terrorist events, nuclear weapons, and just everything that is will send you to jail for fifty thousand years. There is no legal reason for you to have Bitcoin. I know some of you nerds are like these are your own. no. Go in the bodega right now and tell Papa you want to buy a bacon, egg, and cheese with Bitcoin and see if he don't run from behind the counter with a broken bat and try to beat the shit out of you. Nigga, call you fucking bitch. Fucking bitch, call I call you bitch. Mama, 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 I fucking... He called me bitch coin. He called me bitch. I got your bitch. Yeah. You disrespect me? Call me bitch coin, motherfucker? Now, right now, bitch madre. one Bitcoin is equal to 8,250 US dollars. All right. All right. That's I would like to point out this little chart here. Look at 2013, yeah, okay. 2014, 2015, yeah. 2016. 2017. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. Okay. It's like if your man just start doing nice shit to you out of nowhere. Mm, mm, mm. So Sisters, get suspicious. You know mm. what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here, Bitcoin. Uh, yo, shout they're gonna, out. They're going to put this back to me when they're I'm like, getting indicted gonna like, for fucking fraudulent Bitcoin purchases and shit. It's going to be like $30,000. They're going to be like, Jesus told us not to. <laughs> now I feel like, Dumbo. Dumbo. I'm like, I didn't know. I don't know what the fuck. I didn't know. Facts don't matter. What do you mean? Guys working all Come of on. Us. Yo, shout out to the Reed. I went to the Reed live okay. in LA supporting so the, so the black artists. I didn't, I didn't pull the VIP shit and like come in on the home. I paid ticket? for my ticket. Okay. I support black people. Respect that. Took lots of pictures. I was on the low. People was like, yo, Jesus. Yeah. A lot of people was like, no, that's not Jesus. That's a Jesus doppelganger. Why would you be in LA? And I was like, there's only one Jesus, baby. <laughs> Only one, baby. Look at these eyelashes. Blink, 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 blink. You can't, you can't photocopy that. Okay, I'm not Bitcoin, baby. I'm yeah. authentic. <laughs> yeah, she was cool. They didn't serve no alcohol there, so I was like, really? Oh, yeah. I get it though. You do some venues. They don't. Uh, I guess it's like probably liability or. Oh, yeah, maybe no, I'm just an alcoholic. Maybe people don't need alcohol to enjoy live broadcast. I mean, it's better. 
I snuck a beer on though, so you don't say that. You know what I'm saying? Listen, when I'm in other states, I make up my own rules, baby. I was out there smoking smoking weed on deck. (laughs) Also, LA, this new rule about you gotta have, I guess someone explained it to me. The dispensary was like, I have to have a California ID and a weed card in order to cop. Nah. Then it was like, the people was like, yo, Jesus, like, if you don't got like a utility bill, I was like, like, for what? For my bungalow (laughs) in fucking Malibu, you fucking wing? Like, come on. I was like, a utility bill. No problem. Just a heads up for y'all. You're going out there. If you go, but they said you could go like a sketch dispensary that they don't need a um, ID card. Yeah. They don't need a Cali ID card or a weed card. I was like, that's not a dispensary, my that's nigga. That's just, just a, a straight weed. weed spot. Yeah, like that's a weed spot with a, for the booth. That's just nigga. a bodega with dusty fucking juicy yeah. foods and shit. <laughs> they gonna slide the shit to you with some hip hop chips. <laughs> nigga said the dispensary. Walk into the dispensary and shit. It's like, fuck, like nigga, why is it a little Debbie racket here? Yo, you popping a knob. <laughs> And then one guy was trying to help me at the dispensary. He was like, yo, he was like, what you need? What you trying to, you trying to cop? And that's the worst question. Because for that question, cop? he went from a dispensary employee to just like a street nigga. So now I'm like a street nigga too. And I was like, yo, what's, what's good? I'm saying, I'm saying, I got to spend, I got to spend if I'm trying to get up in there. What's good? <laughs> and he's like, nah, nah, nah. You just trying to get like a little personal stash away. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. A little personal. I was like, I'm only here for one night, baby. <laughs> so and he was like, what you want? Like two ounces? I was like. Me- what? Like, who's smoking two ounces in one a, night? I'm not like, Wiz Khalifa. Like, shit. To sit in a bed, do that gear for him. Like, <laughs> yo. I mean, I accept the challenge, but fuck. Nah. Bro, that's kind of wild. And then I was also staying in Four Seasons, and they very explicitly looked me in my eye when I was checking in. It was like, if the room smells like smoke, she did like a little wink, like, ding, ding. She's like, it's $500. I was like, Sacred Blue. Oh, First of wow. all, I'm used to hotels being like two hundred dollars, five hundred. Yeah, five hundred for five hundred dollars. That's the full season. This nigga, if once I get to that point, that five hundred dollars charge is gonna be nothing. I'm gonna leave that shit on the bed, like I'm gonna leave that shit spelled out in weed on I the mean, bed, like shit. here have some grenadine made. I might prepay this shit in cash just to, just so I don't get that shit on the bed. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be so popping. I'm gonna get a nigga to go there ahead of time and smoke out the room. <laughs> God, I'll go there. This shit smell too fresh. I'd be like, turn that thermostat up to 72. That 69 shit's whack. Nah, put some fucking guts on a pillow. Put mm. some fucking Dutch guts on a pillow, B. Make shit feel right. Oh, man. You walk in there, it's a fucking. What are them shit's called? The oil burners? But it's just mad oh, Dutch yeah. guts in an oil burner? <laughs> like, oh. That's what I like to smell, yeah. Had to take the red eye back from LA. Uh, you know what? First class. First to class try to sleep. Really red eye. It's like a nap. Nah, nah. <laughs> you, know you think it is, but it's hard to go to sleep because. The bed is flat, but you still like you got the noise and shit. You yeah. next to people, and you know you got your little customs you like to do. Go sleep, maybe smoke a L, yeah. maybe make a little beef stroking off. There's can't a- do that in first class. <laughs> I mean, you can when the lights go off, but God forbid someone see you, you're gonna end up on TMZ. <laughs> no. Jesus Christ, jerking it, wild nilly, <laughs> wild nilly in first class. I got the flashlight on me. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. I'm, like, I'm trying to get comfortable. Yeah, chill. I try to before I go to sleep. <laughs> I mean, I just get fucking ripped before I go on a plane, but. Nah, I'm, it wasn't working this time, but they served uh, mashed potatoes with ch- roast chicken. I got that. I, I was well, like, ah. Well. I took my shirt off, though, like on some hood shit. Because I realized <laughs> sleeping in first class and sleeping underneath the bench in Bronx Booking are the same exact thing. Were you in first class shirtless? Is that what you I was in shirt class. First, okay, I was plies. I was tweeting shirtless, eating shrimp and red lobster. No. Okay? I'm a savage like that just to make everyone claro. <laughs> Still decent for 233rd. You know what I mean? Nah, it's the same thing. Cause I woke up and I was disoriented. And I was like, "Oh fuck, I'm back in jail." And it was like, "Nah, not so much, my guy. Not so Jelly much." Just cozy. Oh, it's not that cozy because you like I sleep in the I sleep fetal position. When you sleep Bronx uh, bookings, uh, fetal position, sleep on the, the. I don't lie flat like that. I don't trust uh, niggas like that. I had one little shank just in case <laughs> my neighbor got a little too handsy. You know what I'm saying? I woke shorty up. I was like, "Yo." When the CEOs come around with brunch, you wake me up. I. Right? Oh. She was like, uh, "I own ESPN." And I was like, "You heard what I said." Uh, Yo! Every time they come over with snacks, I'm like, I'll take all of them. No, how long I'm be doing this bit, my nigga? They're like, fam, it's it's mahi mahi, and you relax. Give a, give a chill. Would you it's like a lemon scent towel? Towel? You I'm fucking like, nah. weirdo. This guy's having a breakdown. They're like, uh, you didn't get back the utensil. I'm like sharpening this shit against the landing gear. Like, yo, <laughs> these niggas act up and fucking coach. You know what I'm saying? Niggas think shit is sweet. They try to rush us, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Try to rush the hut. I said, get you my know what I'm person next to me. I'm like, yo, you ready to die for this house? You know what I'm saying? All right? This is 7A, 7B, 7C, 7D, all right? The 7 gang. You know what it is. What's wrong with this guy? Fuck that. Yo, Why is he lighting a cigarette with a battery? Went, yo, I went to the bathroom. I heard them niggas. Why is he lighting five, a cigarette, period? Them niggas in 5C was talking spacey about you. I'm saying, when they come through with the fucking condiments, I mean, we gonna rush them niggas. Really? I'm not a All fan right. of spice, Fuck actually. That. Y'all put mad fucking, pe- I put mad pretzels in the sock. I'm about to rock a nigga. These, speaking of spicy, these pretzels, wow. Okay. Is this sea salt? All right, everyone put your, <laughs> it's a yo, spicy everyone tech. turn your TV to the fucking map. 
<laughs> that shows we were flying. We're gonna synchronize on the time. On That's that the shit. worst. That shit is the worst. That shit is the worst, and it's terrible if you're tr- if you're not totally ripped on a plane mm-hmm. and you're looking at that map like every it couple. It will drive what you, you think insane. It's every two hours. The lady next to me on first class, she turned off my screen. She was like, "That's why you can't sleep." Of course, she was white because only a white woman would do oh, that. Oh, we like that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, you're right." Yeah. You're right, because she's like, why are you sitting there just watching the miles? <laughs> like, I was yeah, like, damn, she's like, trying to get the dick, isn't she? But, <laughs> yo, she was right, and then I was able to go to sleep. So. You know what I mean? Because you, you look at the plane, you're like, yo, it's just going 800 miles an hour. God damn. And you can't do the math, because you're like, it's like, yo, we're going to land in half an hour. You're like, oh, we're doing 800 miles an hour. We're going to land there soon. They're like, so... nope. Like, you're going OD fast, but you're going, oh, you got a long way to go. <laughs> and then the worst part is they'll be like, yo, we're going to be landing in five minutes, and you're supposed to land in New York? And the map shows you in like fucking over Minnesota or some like, shit. How the fuck are you we like? How? And then next day the thing is like church, <laughs> New York. Yeah. And they're like, all passengers, please stand ready for landing. You're yeah. like, how the f- how fucking fast are we going? Damn, that's no wonder niggas dying plane crashes. The worst is when the plane lands and then it's still going too fast on the right. You're like, yo, 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 brakes, brakes, yo, 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 brakes, yo, brakes, 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 brakes. Yeah, you wild me. And you put your foot out like you try to slow it down. Like ah, so this cruise is coming down. You pull back the armrest like it's an e-brake. The pilot's like, ah. the pilot goes to the right, oh, the pilot, co-pilot like, Pilot's no. like, y'all niggas is pussy. <laughs> y'all been doing this for many years. You niggas are bonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, turn the channel off, watch. When I land, I'm just let the plane roll for a second. Scare these niggas, watch. watch. Yo, get focused. Yeah, we're about to hit the ground. The guy's hands behind the back, like, watch. Watch these niggas, these niggas screaming. <laughs> I, I bet you, yo, how far, how far, how long you think I'm going to let it roll before I cry? Before, uh, say, say, say when, nigga. <laughs> Say what? Go, 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 niggas, go, go, go. Flipping, right, right, right. niggas flipping Polish spring bottles and shit in the cockpit. Like, ah. <laughs> oh, shit. The terminal. The terminal. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Pull up, pull, pull, pull. oh damn. I'm going to fuck wildin', that shit bro. up. <laughs> yo, you wildin', bro. You see the air traffic controller on the ground, like, <laughs> mad tight. Like, yo, what the fuck? Nigga. Yo, the FAA is going to be tight, bro. They're going to find me. Oh, are they? Uh, are they, my nigga? You signed my 100. Are they, my nigga? No, no, no. You, oh, okay, we, we good. Oh. You coming over? No, it's a safe landing. Yo, oh, my wife, she's good. Spanish. She made that fucking creamy liquor for Thanksgiving. I got you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, man. Being a pilot is mad whack. They don't get paid enough money. They don't get paid If shit. you If they realize how much like power they had, like all a couple, like if five pilots were just like, yo, fuck that. We're gonna just fucking fly in a pattern. Just do shit. Just do shit to fuck with niggas. Just so like do, dump all your fuel for no yo, reason. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Remember, what was it? German Wings. That was the pilot that flew the plane into the mountain. Yep, he didn't give a fuck. They should add that as a feature to airplanes now. Like, you pay extra, and we guarantee the pilot won't fly the shit. So that's some Southwest <laughs> shit. <laughs> we guarantee you won't die. Yo, uh, would the you no like, uh, do, you, uh, do you want the landing fee? You're like, what's that? Oh, that's, uh, we guarantee you land. Go- oh. Yeah, so what if I don't pay? I mean, you want to find out? Shit. <laughs> Southwest be like, oh, since y'all didn't want to all pay for the landing, mm-hmm. we are going to hover over St. Louis. Feel free to jump out when you want. That's right. You can use your pillow as a parachute. Mm-hmm. Pillows are $5. Bags fly free. Y'all die free. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the comfort zone. <laughs> Southwest is really, I have never flown Southwest. Anyway. Well, I mean, don't, don't put it in the air. We're at the point of our life where if we are on Southwest, something has gone horribly wrong totally with America wrong. or our careers. No totally, in between. Totally wrong. Like, I feel like it's going to happen with America first. What? Because America is on a fucking roll. America's dying slowly. Yeah. Like yo, that song. Hot 97, yo. Every day, yo. America is dying. Who was on that shit? It was like, it was like the fucking Super Wu- Friends. Yeah, it was like Wu-Tang Clan. A lot of people was on it. Damn. You know who wasn't on it? Cannabis? The great rappers from the 80s that used to rap about coke. Hippity, 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 ha. Sniff and blow. Ooh-ha, I smoke crack in my block. <laughs> I like crack on my rocks. What? Cock in a box. That's my fox. <laughs> you like what? The fuck were you listening what you, to? What? That's why. Like every time people like, yo, rap was better in the old days. Yeah. Cause now it's not. When we say the old days, we mean Curtis Blow. Yeah. When the next generation be the old days, they be like, Nas and Fabulous. Yeah, like, oh shit. Yeah. But they be like, yo, Nas and Fabulous was like rapping about. Like drugs and shit. I was like, yeah, but yeah, but like it was like it was cool like, though. Uh, it was different. It was different. It wasn't like y'all now. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's different. It's different types. Of, I mean, it's for us. It looks different. Like yeah. for me, I can I can respect someone selling crack. You yeah, know what I'm saying? like selling pills is like ah, uh, does that? It's not. It's not as cool. I mean, you're selling drugs. I mean. I mean, you know what it is? Because you get pills in a pharmacy, and every time you go to a pharmacy, the person that gives you your prescription, I was going to say subscription, your mm-hmm. prescription <laughs> is a fucking... <laughs> Hi, I need to pick up my uh, subscription to Opioids and Highlights magazine. <laughs> yeah, the nigga's story is probably usually a wing. That's so true. you just equate, like, you know, wings with pills and shit. Also, there's not. Like, I know, I know I've know, i seen shootouts over, like, crack spots and shit. i never seen nobody have the wild opioid shootout, shootout? over, yo, this is... I- I run Long Island, like all right. Yeah, okay, all right. I mean, it happens. Remember a couple of summers ago, dude went into the pharmacy in Long Island and 
shot everybody over the opioids. Yeah, so I mean, niggas niggas, need, niggas, niggas, that shit is just it's, niggas niggas get that niggas start itching. Bro, listen, niggas gotta get that. You know what I'm saying? That shit is just it's dog food. It's just in pill form. Dog food in pill you know form. That's it. Axes, all that shit. I remember, homie. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Get Indicted Records. Yeah, never no, they mind. had someone on the. Uh, they had someone on the Daily News today, and they were talking about how they hurt their knee, and the doctor prescribed them ninety opioids a day. What? Mm-hmm. What? Uh, what? Per, um, what's a ninety? Oh, uh, uh, Vicodin? didn't know. Oh, oxycontin. oxycontin. Yeah, yeah. ninety oxycontin a day. Damn. Fuck. My nigga, wow. That's that wolf. That's fucking impossible. Yo, listen, yo. That's fucking out of control. Invest, yo. <laughs> right? Just die off them thirty milligram shit, yo. Bro. Like, yeah, yeah, I gotta stop that. I remember my. Oh, let me not make it hot for her. But <laughs> oh, all I'm gonna her, say is, I knew a girl out like a good Saturday for her was just like popping some oxy's <laughs> and chilling in bed with a glass of wine. <laughs> Shout out to home. She has a stressful job, though. You okay. know what I'm saying? She wake up early, go to Dominicans in the morning, get her hair blown out. I respect it. Okay, respect. You know what I'm saying? You got to master your heart. I've never been that stressed. I mean, listen. You, that's the <laughs> thing. You never judge. know what a person has to do to get by. As long as that's they're true. getting by, it doesn't get in the way of you getting yours. That, that's that's it. Don't You can't judge. They're all riding their own horses. That's fact. You never know what Red people have been through. Red you never know people might have been like traumatized as a kid. Almost run over by like a motorcycle and shit. Oh, Parents shit. Ma- locked them in a the room, made them eat Brussels sprouts to turn the lights off. You want to take long at the dinner table? You sit here by yourself. Yeah, that's fucking insane. I hope I, I'm still fucking harping on that ninety a day. I hope it's ninety milligrams a day and not fucking. And that's still fucking out of control. Yo, stop with the OP. I mean, don't stop. I mean, do what you want. Don't Whatever. stop. Who cares? Don't stop. Don't the stop beat. Till you get high enough. All I know is I ate a fucking oxy one time and I was oh, it's ninety Percocet. Like, bleh, sorry, bleh, bleh, bleh. ninety Percocet. Percocets. 90 Percocets. You fucking wild. Oh, it wasn't a day, though, but that was the prescription. God damn. 90 pills. God damn. I mean... Enjoy yourself. Don't destroy yourself. Post-surgical prescriptions for 40, 60, or 90 pills are incredibly common. Damn. Mm-hmm. Shit. Listen. Oh, yeah, well, I mean... And then, meanwhile, someone like me who doesn't get any kind of drugs or anything, I no. go to the dentist, I try to get, like, a codeine or some shit, and they enter my name in, like, four fucking database. databases to see, <laughs> see if I'm, like... They're Please. like, when's the last time you got a prescription rehab? Then I'm, like, walking on fucking 23rd Street, you got niggas chicken bottles, like, hey, poppy, you want to <laughs> Hey, poppy, you know what I'm... I don't know what's going on. Poppy. I got it. Hey, you want fence on children? No, what's poppy? I'm stuck on fence stones. <laughs> fence stones stuck on me. What's up, poppy? Yo, Yo I got them in the gummies now, Yo. so, you know, I got gum. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! All the fucking walk-in clinics and shit that will just give you shit. Yeah, I fucking I went to one of them shits and I was like, "Yo, planes make me mad nervous." And nigga was like, Bring, "Here's some zannies." I was like, "Yeah, score!" Wow. Ate some shits on a plane, nigga. Knocked the fuck out. I, I was looking for some zannies on that flight because I was like, "Damn, I gotta go to sleep naturally." But yeah, I figured it out. Just also, shout out to ass. shout out to the connected LAX who came through with the weed. Yeah. And shout out to the person who probably found all that weed I had to throw away. Damn. Wah, wah, at LAX in the garbage. I, I feel like you should just like that. That's a, st- a smart strategy if you don't got no weed in right. LA. Just go to LAX and look through the garbage. Like I just imagine so many people doing that same shit. Like oh shit. No, you know what? Fuck. No, no. Oh, most, just, almost everyone I talked to said they would have just risked it and uh, <sighs> thrown it back with it. But I got too much to lose for uh, something stupid like weed. weed. You know what I'm saying? Like, and also you got to remember, like I, they probably be trying to make an example out of me. I talk pretty crazy on this podcast about TSA being whack. Y'all <laughs> niggas just like to stand around, but. You know what I mean? I don't want them niggas go through. Oh, who's standing around now, nigga? Oh uh, yeah, standing around, spread your cheeks, motherfucker. You know what TSA stands for? That's that ass. I'll be like, that's that would That's be not, TTA. T- yeah. So, good try though. Good job. Go not to make it hot. They were definitely the, the TSA guy. Was like, oh shit, is that Jesus? Nah, come through. You don't got to push it on the belt. I was like, yo, is that what you need? Oh shit. I think so it's gonna be ISIS and Al Qaeda just make a poppy podcast, and you don't, <laughs> you don't got to go through uh, straight, security right? anymore. Damn, I pulled that shit when homie when I was running around with the wild expired IDs and shit. And I remember. Side. I remember this nigga trying to use a fucking sound clown printout uh, as ID to get on a plane. I and was shit. like, yo, remember that shit, Victor? Um, you man, co- like, you man came over here with a Manila folder, <laughs> his birth certificates on the back of fucking fillet of fish wrapper. I'm like, yo, you're yo. not getting on a plane with this. <laughs> yo, James K, let me rock. He's, He's like, yo, like, yo, they're like, you got a birth certificate. He's like, I have a certificate of live birth. I was yo. like, all right, Obama, uh, okay. come on. All right, that nigga's from Kenya, but it's legit. That baby footprint is fresh, yo. That shit is not a 30 year old. Document. That's what his kids. You see, my fast forward my kids are sitting at home with black feet. Like, what the fuck? Why he wipe my feet off first? Like, what the fuck, bro? He's like, yo, y'all take a communion card. Also, I have a membership card from uh, <clears throat> Nobody Beats the Wiz. How, uh, how many points is that? <laughs> I know they close twenty years ago, but fuck it. 
<laughs> yeah, nah, fucking Jeff Kelly Rock, LAX was wild, fucking you know, anal. Five minutes later, they had you stripped out to your white feet. <laughs> I'm like, yo, <laughs> why are you doing it like this? Why? Well, because the shit looks suspicious. Yo, and I, I was traveling with you, and even I was like, don't let that nigga on the plane. I was like, what the fuck? Are you niggas serious? I was like, I'm on TV, you fucking anytime, asshole. Anytime, like, I, I never do Anytime this, someone's trying to get somewhere and they're trying to show you ID as proof, if they pull out anything printed on dot matrix printers, <laughs> you dead them. All right? That should be yo. the rule. That's so why I had my expired passport and my fucking license. This nigga had an expired library card. He had like an old business card from Mama Sushi. <laughs> he had one of the red, uh, the red lobster table ringers, and it was blinging. <laughs> You may have had like an old Mrs. Dash canister that was like signed for Mrs. Dash. One of Tito Puente's drumsticks. I was like, what is it? I was like, what the fuck are you fucking? (laughs) What is this shit? Just get your ID fixed. Yeah. He's like, uh, do you remember in 1986 Gloria Stefan performed at Shea Stadium? Hello. Uh, I had the tickets my, mother right has, my mother went here as a Polaroid. Duh. That's my mother. That's Gloria Stefan. That's right there. So idea I need, stupid. They're like, oh, I'm sorry. We didn't recognize you were the Miami sound machine. Go ahead. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so, so, I apologize. Familiar with Stefan. Nah, fucking, I pulled the I'm, I pulled the I'm on TV shit way too late. Like after niggas done rummage through my shit, I was like, uh, he's like, yeah, why don't you say that? I was like, ah, uh, cause I don't want to do that. Yeah, you don't, you don't want it's gonna work. You don't, don't know it's gonna work. Do that, and then, 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 then the shit don't work. And niggas like, like so fuck out of here, fuck out of here. <laughs> this dumb nigga. This nigga say you on TV. He said, yo, I know. I was like, nah, bro. I was like, come on, son. What you gotta do? He's like, yo, my yo. bad, my bad. He's like, yo, you good, you good. This nigga say you on TV. I'm that's, like, you not gonna put my bag back together, nigga. Like, what the, the fuck? That's the same nigga that was on Home Depot. Didn't know the type of screws. <laughs> I'm like, yo, are you fucking serious, bro? Like, yo, oh God. I was on luck. You don't got the TSA pre check. So I go into the airport like a white person. Like, I'm like, yo, I'm not putting up with no shit. So I come in there and they're like, oh, TSA pre check, go ahead. And the line is O D long. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I'm doing the white people looking around. Like, I look around, I look at my thing that says pre check. I look at the sign that says pre check and I just keep looking around so someone will notice I'm visibly upset and help me. Because I see white women do it all the time, so should, hopefully that should work for me. <laughs> wrong. Wrong. So I'm doing totally that, wrong. but there's a white couple in front of me. And bet you by golly, they were fed the fuck up, mister. <laughs> <laughs> they said to the young lady, they was like, our tickets say pre-check. If this is pre-check, why is it not moving faster than the other lines? Homegirl looked up from her phone and was like, does it say pre-check above me? And it was like, yes. And she was like, then you're on the pre-check line. Ooh. And I was like... Toma. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta fall back, bro. That most I was like, okay, I was like, yo, fam, you in a rush? You in a rush? To go to your little vacation, bury yeah, your mother, do nah. some fly shit. I got ten. These niggas just wanna go home. You stupid. These niggas got... live a shuttle bus away from JFK. Get they don't break. got much to live for. No, just they let don't them care. live. All right, homegirl right there. She wants to go home, get herself Bacardi breezers, maybe a backwood, so maybe to... like heat up some Tostinos and eat them with her <laughs> son. You know what I'm saying? My king. That's my king. That's her king. That's my king. They got my MCM. You know, she saves us some money. <laughs> she wants to get a nice co-op in Rochdale Projects. She's trying to live her life. Shout out to Rochdale Projects. I live there. Rochdale House, excuse me. Excuse me. Don't call it projects. Don't call it projects. That Fuck shit is not here. projects, even though y'all want to pee in the staircases. It's fucking houses. That shit got the scariest fucking um, L-I-double-R train station <laughs> right by it. Because that L-I-double-R is for like, white people. Not but you ask. get caught up there slipping. <laughs> I've never. I can proudly say I've never stepped foot on a Long Island Railroad train. Oh, listen, <laughs> these just be trooping. I would do a book one day of all the shit I've done to get pussy. Ooh, <laughs> that shit's sad. Yo, that shit's sad. It's well documented. The furthest I've, well, most I've ever done for pussy is getting on Staten Island ferry, and mm. that was a lot. And I regretted it. I mean, I don't regret it because pussy was fire. But like, in hindsight, I'm like, I could have just fucking probably drove. You know what I'm saying? It did something different. You know what? Instead of getting on a boat, I could have bought that house in Dumbo for two and a half million. <laughs> Now it's worth twenty million. You know how I'm feeling. <laughs> Don't pull. Like I still got that pussy. Ah, <laughs> you mad, my hot. You look bad. The worst part is when you travel mad far to get pussy. The whole time you're like, this is stupid. What am I doing? I could do better than this. What? Well, I'm, 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 I'm stupid. I, I don't have to do all this. I'm on my third train. Damn, there's mad niggas in front of her building. Uh-huh. I'm outside with the burner now. Like I'm stupid. I could get arrested. I could do three years for pussy. I could do three years for pussy. pussy. Then you just uh, you bust that nut. You like. Everything is copacetic. Yeah. <laughs> it's the smooth sounds of CD 101.9. Every time I ever did that, my, the note was like a fire alarm. I was like, uh-huh. like yo, get out of there, nigga. So like, she was like, go. 
I'm like, yo, if you wake up and shorty's come the next day, you be like, wow, like, oh. Like, See, nah, 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 nah. You wallet. Because like, I can't what? be spending the night. Yeah, like, that's like, how you nah. wake up with guns in your face. Yeah, like, what? So you not, you wash out, you like, yo, exactly. I, gotta you gotta go. I got to go. I got a long trip back to the Bronx, bro. Yeah, peace. I got like four trains at it's least. It's 2 a.m. And they're talking about the ferries coming in an hour. Listen, I'm going to be waiting for an hour, I guess. You got to come back in the room on some Usher shit. Like, it's 7 o'clock on the dot. Like, dancing <laughs> the shit with your feet. Here. Just dancing while she's grabbing your dick while you putting your pants up. Like, no, 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 it's not them young boys days. Nah, Sorry. Good. I'm good. I'm out. This Sorry, ain't Howard Homecoming. It's Peace. a Tuesday morning. I gotta go to Squirk in the morning. Dubs. Later. I'm gonna eat a bear claw while I wait for the ferry. Mm. <laughs> She's like, yo, why don't you wait for your Uber outside, inside my house? I'm like, nah, nah, he's not gonna be able to see me. Nah, nah, I need, to see, see me. I need to know if it's a Camry or not. It's a Camry. <laughs> Muhammad's driving a Camry. I need to know. Cause she's comfortable She knows how long it takes For Uber to come to her house How long it takes her To go all the way down the steps And everything mm. But see Women don't be rushing for Ubers away. Like I feel As soon as the Uber's there I'm like yo I gotta go They got that account They be like yo It's there five minutes yeah, if, yo, if you do the Ubers Breezing on you In five minutes Flat You know what If you're a chick win. Ubers wait for you But Ubers also are like Terrible and mad rapey yeah. And they try to save your number And text you afterwards mm. I be seeing shit Uber drivers be doing I was like yo they Y'all do wild creeps They do a lot Y'all do wild creeps I get it I mean, those, what do you have? Is there any qualifications to be an Uber driver besides yeah, having that, a license? Whoa, 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 whoa! Excuse me, <laughs> Jonas Salk over here. You, know you want to like, vaccinate shit? <laughs> having a license? You asking for a lot? In order to have an Uber, all you have to do is have access to a car. I didn't say have to have a car. I said access to a car. <laughs> like, There's niggas out there doing valet parking, and they do an Uber <laughs> with niggas' cars up while niggas is in the restaurant. <laughs> Like, where's your car right now? I was like, um, it's apparently dropping some off in Poughkeepsie. Uh, so, uh. Yes. You said you were. This is Prius. Why are you in a Rolls Royce? Uh, yeah. No, he said he's gonna. Oh, uh, he's doing an Uber pool. He's gonna pick us up when he drops off his last passenger. What? Nigga pulls up to the Uber pool with a ballet jacket. Shout out to the uh, beautiful Range Rover uh, 2017 H S E series, which had the special uh, valet mode. I was scared to press that button because the first time I saw that button, I was uh, like doing 890 on the highway, and no. I was like, "What is this?" Valet mode only gives them access to the uh, like parking the car. They can't open the glove compartment. Oh. Nor can they access the contacts, the contacts on your phone, or change any of that stuff. How they do you can't... get out of valet mode? You put in by like... pressing valet mode. <laughs> You so poor <laughs> broke spick. The way you get out of valet mode yeah. is putting in the four digit pin that you programmed in when you started valet mode. Do you even range, my brother? <sighs> Jeez. This nigga got Mota in the fucking wine chiller. Ah, damn, disgusting. Damn, fuck. This is my new no no Dominicans and Range Rovers. Yeah. Damn, me and Jeff Sessions. We she stand. Could, two weeks ago, you were cool with me, Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like, yo, the Range Rover hologram. I'm just Pin saying. Number. I'm just saying. <laughs> I just oh no the Range Rover ran to my house. Come to my house looking for a Range Rover. I'll be like oh you want the Range Rover? I'm gonna bring you one of my nephew's Range Rover trucks. And you gonna be like oh you think this shit is funny? And just shoot me in the leg. I'll be like ah, it's worth it, nigga. Ah, ha, ha. ah you yeah. shot me, but it's an in and out. I'm still laughing. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Motherfuckers talk about picking this shit up for my crib. They might not be able to. I, uh-huh. might, I might just get off with the shit. Wait till yeah you gonna be going it out because niggas gonna chase you busting shots. Bring this shit you like, you gonna end up crashing this shit. <laughs> Like, yo, nigga, try to kill yeah, me for a rainbow. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to escape to South Korea. You got mad shots. They shoot out the fucking, fucking tires. The shit flip. Yeah. You got mad blood. You die in the shit. Like, I just walk over. I'm like, I just put the shit in. Val- <laughs> <laughs> I got you, nigga. Where you going that rainbow? Yeah. Yo, big ass driving the rainbow. <laughs> you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> you got some yeah. blood coming out your nose. I just put the shit in valet mode. <laughs> Cause he don't know what that shit be. This is gonna hit like the fucking. He gonna hit the button to change the height while he's doing eighty and flip the shit. There's a lot to. There's a lot in that shit that's I feel is wild necessary. But hey, I'm not mad. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking. Hey, if you got it, spend it. If you got it. I mean, if you got it, you spend it. You spend you know it. If you got it. You know can't take it with you when you die. Actually, you can. That's a terrible way to think, and that is the problem with people and why they do not build generational wealth. Oh no! Yeah, no. That's that's just a rap saying. Oh, okay. That's not a real life thing. I'm just saying. It's not a real life thing. Can't take it with you. Nah. You should give back. Give back. Like, we give back to the BX and Academy. Yeah. Shout out to Anna Sosa. The other you know day, saying? I was getting on the train, and some kid, I saw he was about to hop, and I swatted him through, and I was like, from the BX and Academy. He just looked at me like, the fuck this nigga say? Fuck this nigga? I'm about to cut this nigga's like, whole face. I was like, no, I, I waved you through. You can go through, little nigga. Oh, this is a nigga from that fucking dumbass team. I'm about to cut this nigga, yo. I was like, yo, yo Jamel, let's chop this nigga, B. I was like, oh, you're gonna chop oh, this me? Nigga, yo, this nigga talking about Range Rover and his fucking little pop. Yo, let's get this nigga, man. And I, I did the smile. I was like, ah. <laughs> I see you guys are afflicted with a thing, a problem called Ute. <laughs> Perhaps I can alleviate you of that situation. <laughs> you bitch ass nigga! 
this? <laughs> like I had on the wad, I had on the blade trench coat and shit. <laughs> Throw it back up. My two saber things I hear. That's what happened. Late at night, you can sword fight on the train. They have to allow it. You can sword fight on the train on any platform from 1 to 5 a.m. The MTA cannot <laughs> get in the way. Sometimes so they'll be like, yo, move! They, when they, hosing, they got the high pressure. They're hosing down the station. Yo, we got to clean the platform, asshole. I'm fighting a Highlander, fuck as you can here. see. Yo, you fuck. This guy's a jerk. This is the same as... There fuck. can only be one. All right. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Okay. I got my sword in there. Mad lightning charging this shit up. They're like, the hey, you got to move! All right, it's the same fucking cracker that comes every Wednesday with this sword shit. I'm fighting a Highlander. Oh my god. Get my this fuck. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> Bill, Bill, get this fucking guy. This guy comes here every fucking Wednesday with a sword. I walk down the fucking station steps with a head like, I told you, there can only be one. I'm reporting this to your, man, your manager. <laughs> guy, this guy got a fucking panettone under his arm. Get him out of here. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why they build the Field of the Ancients on top of his train platform. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, the Sacred Burial? Where is it? It's, yeah. uh, it's the uh, 4 train, the 161st station. Have you ever seen Highlander? Mm. Huh? Have you ever seen Highlander? Yes. I've never seen Highlander. Oh, it used to come out a lot uh, on Channel Sci-Fi? 9 on Saturdays. Sci- okay. Yeah. Who was the dude? Oh, no, no, no. Who was the guy? David Carradine. Oh. Yes. Wait. Who is it? Kevin Sorbo. Kevin Sorbo and David Carradine. It was this. They were one person. They had the same. Hercules. Thing. Hercules. They used to come on back to back on like ah, Saturdays and shit. Yes. Shot to Xena. Shot to Xena, the warrior yeah. princess. Yeah. Uh, the irony is David Carradine was dressed as Xena when he hung himself while masturbating. Wow! I just made that up. Yeah, no, he was just the just as just as you know. He did definitely die while masturbating. Yeah, he did. He went out. He went out. He went out he in went lingerie out. like a G. That's how I'm gonna do. I'm gonna die while masturbating inside the Range Rover. I respect that. With the massage, thing, like. Uh, 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 uh. See, that's not actually a joke. If you knew anything about the Range Rover, you know it has a cum catcher. <laughs> <laughs> no. When you gotta beat your meat on the road. <laughs> I just got a bad high roof, bro. You can just open a fucking hole, fucking shoot, moon shoot roof. Shoot out just, the, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just straight out the moon roof. <laughs> <laughs> Moonshot. <laughs> you gotta let that yeah. shit drip onto the in front of on the uh, ground after your car, like Spy Hunter. Uh, Have the car behind you spin out, like. Uh, uh, no, it's disgraceful. <laughs> Thanks for after us. Car gets stuck and shit. Like, <laughs> oh, the stickiest cut we've ever encountered. <laughs> <laughs> stickiest cut I ever encountered in my yeah. life. <laughs> Yo, is that the niggas disgusting niggas that just jerk off and let the shit go anywhere? Like, come on. I'm dude. right here though. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, now I gotta be I gotta be responsible for this. <laughs> Listen, once it comes out my dick, I'm not responsible I for no more. That, that goes for babies <laughs> and urine. Okay? <laughs> Yo! That's piss, your no, problem. Pissing in the public is not illegal no more. It's not legal anymore, but the cops will but fuck you up yeah, for it. Yeah. And also people now it's it's not legal anymore, but I see why it was. Because yeah. now, like, a spe- uh, in my neighborhood, Jamaican niggas will pee and look you straight in the face. Like, why are you looking yeah. at me pee? I'm like, because it's 3 o'clock and you're on the side of a school, sir. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why? How are you this drunk? That's, yo, that's why I should be. Like, my mom used to let me pee anywhere. Like, I'd be in a it's parking lot. It's different if a little kid pees. If you're a grown man with a mortgage, <laughs> perhaps you go pee in said building that has the mortgage. <laughs> yo! I what's the last time I pissed up? I never piss in a parking lot. My kids piss in parking lots all the time. But the kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, who got time? I mean, what the fuck? There's a lot of places that won't let you pee in there. That's true. Right, a, lot you know places, a lot of places. You got to like, buy some. For you got to be customer. Only. Customers only. Customers Especially only. in the hood. Motherfuckers will not leave because they think you're in there to fucking smoke krillsies. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, I just got to take a piss. My G, do I look like a fucking head to you? I remember I was in the Metro North bathroom on 125th Street and I had a POD. Wow. Had a POD. Why? And that bathroom is nasty. But I was like, yo, I have to pee seriously. And there was like a bad line. I was like, what the fuck? What the, who's in there? I'll tell you who was in there. Yeah. Don't feel Jose. Yeah. Man was getting all the fuck. He was doing all his works in there. Oh. You know, you walk into a bathroom, you definitely smell like the smell of crack burning. Oh my I was God. Like, yo. I thought the uh, fucking Astor Place Starbucks bathroom used to be the fucking ill fucking dope shoot spot. Wow, niggas said Astor Place Starbucks. Yeah, Ooh. boy. Niggas put a red fucking light bulb in there so niggas gonna find the vein. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Good. Damn. Nah, stop. I thought they closed the Lansing McDonald's. It's just closed for renovations, guys. Yeah, Relax. so I passed it the other day. I thought it was gone, but no, they're just no, renovating it. Okay. They're going to turn it into like the wild IKEA looking McDonald's. They don't realize it's the still, Delancey it's McDonald's. Still, don't matter. You reminds with disgusting Delancey. You feel me right yeah. there? It's nasty. Yeah. It's just nasty. That's where you. That's only. That's the only McDonald's you go to, and you don't wash your hands to give the food more flavor. <laughs> If you go there, you catch at least three f- head fights, like like fisticuffs between f- wild, brazy crackheads, busting it down, drinking a black coffee, asking for the coin to use a bathroom. 
If you got, if you need a whole fucking process to use the bathroom, you're in a, you're in a dope head McDonald's. I mean, yeah, if you got to ask for the codes and all Come that on. shit. I mean, if the, if the key got a wild like broomstick attached to it. Now nah, what they got now, they give you a code. You got to buy something and a code is on printed on the receipt. <sighs> But it expires after a little. Like, listen, they got a lot. Yeah. They used to have the McDonald's, the bathrooms. You had to pay. Uh, they should just put a booth to, for niggas to shoot up in. Like, yo, this is designated booth for y'all to shoot up. No, Leave the I bathroom mean, alone. You already know if you at McDonald's, someone else there is probably shooting up. So you just uh, you don't need to be reminded of it. You already yeah. sad because you in the McDonald's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ba, da, 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 da. Are you loving it? We talk about McDonald's for the third week in a row on this podcast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. But some of us would like to enjoy our fillet of fish and black coffee without y'all shooting up dope. In front of my kids. <laughs> Yo, I just bought a 20 piece of nugget. I didn't want to see this. You know what I'm saying? I ain't paid to see this. I could have bought two fillet of fishes <laughs> for 150 back to the spring. Damn. I did. Now I have to pay full price. Damn. How I'm feeling. <laughs> like a codfish. <laughs> Damn. Cod nigga, right nigga, fish nigga, mahi mahi nigga. Still nigga. Still nigga. Damn. Fish nigga. <laughs> fish nigga. <laughs> fish nigga. <laughs> Don't play with me. I'm a filet of fish uh, with wild fragrancy. Uh, Tartar sauce on my right. neck with a vagrant bee. Uh, I be shooting dope in the bathroom uh, where your children stay in. Uh, Get yourself some bread and put it on the fish. That's what the kids are saying. Uh, step beside the booth. Take off the place and loosen up the tie. Fish filet uh, is alive. Uh, <laughs> Yo, shut the hope. We've done more for fish fillet sales in the last three weeks. Oh, than McDonald's don't even advertise the shit. Don't. Like people like, yo, you got fish fillet. We heard about that shit from the. They the know their podcast. demo. They're like, no, wh- who? They know their demo. What the fuck is a fish fillet? They know their demo. Don't forget, in association with Real Life Cast, bah, 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 fish first annual fish fillet a loser. That's right. <laughs> I talked about it. Okay, off the duplicated, never replicated. Oh, Fish fillet for loser coming to Webster Hall. Just think about it. Me, Mero, <laughs> real life Kaz, low key. We on stage with super soakers full of tartar oh, sauce, spraying in your woman crush oh, Wednesday. Oh, uh, <coughs> we might not have to do because I'm gonna have to take wild. We might do it like Pizza Zoo. <laughs> y'all dress as Little Mermaid theme. Y'all come dress as your favorite fish. Come through. Ah, she's like Bacalao. Oh. Ah, yeah. Yo, ma, we said dress like it. Don't smell like it. Damn. That's right. Fuck. That's right. Nasty. Yo, you Unlimited me. fish fillet. We're going to have bobbin for fish fillets. Oh, <laughs> that shit. Who can incorporate the best fish fillet into their hair? Oh. The fish fillet race. Fish hookah? Oh, oh, the fish fillet hookah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Niggas use the fish fillet as a cold. We gotta have a, we're going to have a race where basically <laughs> you and a girl, you have to carry a fish fillet in your mouth <laughs> and run an obstacle course. It's going to be lit. Titty to titty. Oh God! Woo! Oh man, my stomach is turning. Why? Because <laughs> you can't wait. Yeah, and you know who we have performing? Fish. Fish. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. yeah, yeah. They're gonna be like, we don't get it, but someone here has weed, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We're gonna jam. Where's yeah. the patchouli? Woo! <laughs> Fit fillet palooza. <laughs> fucking sweet dude. We're gonna have a, a dunk tank for Miro, and when you hit the thing, it falls into like five feet of tartar sauce. Oh, just, oh, just the chives and shit getting in your, oh, no goggles oh. getting in your butt. You gotta smell oh, like tartar sauce for weeks. Oh, God. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, that's disgusting. Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. <laughs> uh, I'm just having flashbacks. I'm going to prank you. I'm going to fill your range over with tartar sauce. <laughs> <laughs> like those NBA rookies I'm and like, shit. I'm like, damn, this nigga, fuck. I'm like, shit, well, uh, they picking it up next week, so fuck it. They're like, what happened? They're like, <laughs> you're like, who filled this with the tartar? <laughs> <laughs> who don't like fish filet now, nigga? <laughs> oh my God. I think you like your fish free range. <laughs> oh my, this nigga perform race cod in my fucking Greg glove compartment. Like, Jesus, you know, that was a violation of the contract, but it was hilarious. It. <laughs> I would call it a violation of the contract. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, now you feel me. You guys are like, this is not funny. Not, I got a $95,000 Range Rover that smells like fish. You can't take that shit out in the summer or nothing. <laughs> Nigga, turn on the AC. Everyone's like, uh, Daddy, uh, your car stinks. Damn. Daddy, the fancy car smells yucky. I'm like, <laughs> every time you go out, there's mad cats and shit on top of your car. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm calling neighbors <laughs> like, yo, yo, your fucking <laughs> cat is on my car, <laughs> man. Mad cats having sex on top of your car, shit. Rubbing it. You know how they have to rub their chins uh, on the shit? Like, yeah, uh, it's my car now. <laughs> <laughs> fucking disgusting. Get your dander off my interior. You want the light and shit? Niggas like, nigga, did your car smell like filet of fish? <sighs> yeah, you see, Jesus put fucking fillet fish in my fillet shit, man. Oh, put shit. The, fillet shit. Oh, sauce. shit. I, I took it, car stink. I took it to get detail, but niggas, they said to put vinegar and shit. I don't know. You can't get rid of this shit. Just <laughs> take it off of your clothes and shit. 
I start smoking mad gelato and shit, like to combat the smell. You can smoke a mad Newports to cover the smell. <laughs> now your car smells like filet of fish in Newports. Oh, aka <laughs> a nursing home. <laughs> Put a little Bengay in there. You got split yeah. rock nurse at home. Yeah. It's everything to get hyped. Welcome to Shady Acres where yeah. TT goes to die. Dun, dun, dun. You know what? I'm coming to join you. Oh, my God. Can you feel the beat up, up in my heart? Can, can you feel the beat up, up in my heart? Chop the little Susie. Can you feel the beat? Bum, bum, Listen, we got to make that bum, trap freestyle bum. come back. That's what, that's what they want. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, man. We're calling it. We haven't made predictions in a while. Give me some Nostradamus predictions. Uh, let's see here. Nostradamus predicts a victory for the Knickerbockers tonight. Uh, today, they're listening to this on Friday. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Nostradamus predicts a victory for the Knickerbockers tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yo, listen. But uh, This is what's going to happen. Uh, Joel Embiid, when the Knicks play the Sixers... Joel Embiid is going to get his chest stepped in Ooh. by Chris Stapps Pozingas. Chris Stapps is going to put a stat line up of 38 points, Ooh. 13 rebounds, Ooh. 4 blocks, Ooh. and 2 steals. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Take that to the bank. I predict. You know I predict. Take it to the bank. Big baller brand never lost. Never lost. Uh. Right? As you listen to this, they still will be undefeated. <laughs> Because he never lost. Never lost. Okay? Because remember. Why doesn't Le- why, why does somebody give LeBar a co- ball a coaching job? Like, just because he's loud doesn't mean he's a good coach. Yes. Like, that's that's probably the thing. It's a lot of, it's a lot a of boisterous. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like, no, that's not exactly the case. I feel like that's all you need to be a high school coach. A high school coach, yeah, but not an NBA coach. I mean, yeah. No, those are grown-ass men. That's a hot shirt. Yeah. yeah. 3-6 Lavia. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have Chris Stapps on the show soon. Yes, everybody. Oh, a lot of a lot of players are asking to be on the show, so you know what I'm saying we're gonna try to make that happen. Yeah, man. Try to make you know, try to get people on there. Yo, if you're a Knickerbocker, if you're currently on the Knicks roster, come come through. You know what I'm saying? I are don't you even care. eating we during the free art? Yeah. Shout out to all you dicks with misophonia. I'm doing this very far away from the microphone. You're welcome. Oh, are you are you gonna eat into the mic? Cause you know women like to rub their chocho while listening to you eat. Mike, go ahead. You like that? You like that? Yeah. Tu favorito, mami. That's disgusting. That's so weird. That sounds disgusting. That's so, so I was That's watch, disgusting. I was just watching your face while you're doing it. Yeah. That's nasty, That's disgusting. man. Nobody wants that. People try to listen to this. The That's day erotic. They hung over and shit after Thanksgiving. It's my turn. All right. <laughs> I come through like... Muyan. <laughs> If you complain about something that's on this podcast, we'll probably do it just to annoy you for like a solid two minutes. Because <laughs> this shit is free, nigga! Damn, girl, why it tastes so good? <laughs> why it tastes like chips? Mm. <laughs> girl, why it tastes like rosemary and olive oil? You mm. like, whoa, that's extremely specific. Shut the deep river. Shout out to women using the same products on turkeys as they use on their chochi. Mm. You know what I'm saying? My sister used to put mayonnaise on here. I didn't know how you were going to end that sentence. Yeah. And I was about to have a lot of questions. Because <laughs> <laughs> I heard rumors about Dominicans. I know, you know what I'm saying? Yo, everyone will come crash through this roof and murder everybody in this room. How's, how's uh, Ingrid the mama? It's beautiful, beautiful. Shout out to my nephew, you know what I'm saying? Little Meryl. You know what I'm saying? I call all children in my family Little Meryl. Damn. <laughs> she didn't actually kid. name her kid after you, did she? Mm. She should have. No, she didn't. She should have. I mean, we got enough mirrors. One mirror was too much. It's the genuine article. And no matter uno unico. Nah, she's chilling. She's chilling. She's enjoying motherhood, bro. She's back to work though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But um shout out to my nephew, boy. He's beautiful. Beautiful little baby boy. If he was ugly, would you admit it? Um, probably not. Mm. I'm very I'm very like um I mean if he was ugly, I would just be like deni- like in denial about it. Like, but he can't be ugly, bro. He's a Martinez. Like, he's a Martinez kid. Like, we're all beautiful. We're all gorgeous. Okay, there's way too many Martinez people in the world for yeah. that to be true. Okay. I mean, like my Martinez. Like, nah. If you're like from, if you're like from some other weird place, like, nah. But if you're, if you're the lo mio persona full, that you it, then you're gorgeous. All right, I guess you know so. I, mean? I guess this is the part. This is the uh, lie report sponsored by this nigga's lion. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. I'm gorgeous. Like, they voted Blake Shelton the sexiest man in America. Like, that's that's you a farce. That was a you farce. You felt it should have been you. I mean, I don't know about America. I, like I, I think big. You know what I'm saying? Like I said this shit. I don't know what episode fucking three. The brand is strong. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I would shoot high. I'd be like, yo, North America, Western Hemisphere, sexiest man in the, you know, on Earth. 
know what I'm saying? Not fucking sexiest man alive. Like, nigga, that discounts bad people. You know what I'm saying? I want to be the sexiest man ever uh, in life, including dead niggas. Well, I'm way sexier than John Lennon. Oh, okay. you know what I, mean? I mean, that's not hard at all. You know what I mean? Way sexier than fucking. They're all dead, right? All the Beatles? Paul McCartney's still alive? Paul McCartney's alive barely. Yeah. But yeah. Every time I see him, he looks like a grandma, so I can never tell if it's him. Mm-hmm. Or if it's like, you know, his mom mourning his loss or some shit. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Paul McCartney. Shout out to all you niggas that play acoustic guitars. No, that's a lie. No shout out to you. Because I don't like you. And you come in, you take your fucking shoes off, you sit there with your socks, you think you're all cool, and play an acoustic cover of some Interpol song, and think you're gonna fucking get laid? Hmm? Is that what you think? That seems very specifically Is that what you think? angry about... Huh? I don't even know what you're ranting about <laughs> at this point. Like, you just <laughs> seem to have some sort of beef, but... Uh... <laughs> nah, I mean... No, that wasn't specific at all. Mm-mm-mm. Fuck that guy, though. I mean, that's, that's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. What's going on? Everything okay? Yeah. ISIS is here? Yeah. Great. Spill. Can't wait. Let's spill. Mm. Bring on the sweet embrace of death. The sweet embrace of death. That, uh, listen, that's a little too dark. These are going to get a cease and desist from my, uh, from my lawyers there. Well, I mean, you know, this is just a... Uh, what more do you want for free, my guys? Yo, enjoy this shit, you fucking idiots. This is what niggas are doing this shit on a fucking Wednesday. Fuck you. It's late. What are you mad at them for? No, nah, I'm not. I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm enjoying life. I'm not mad. I said last episode, I'm happy, bro. I'm so happy. I got to fucking, like, I just be in the crib playing fucking Xbox with my kids and shit, high shit, like, enjoying life, bro. Like, I don't got room to be mad. I mean, I'm just be mad at dumb shit now because it's like, you got to stay mad to stay sharp. So I just <laughs> get mad at the dumb shit. Okay. Stupid shit. Like, why do I have to call and let people know, and let the town know that my car is parked on the street? Like, I live here. I can't park my car in front of my fucking house. I got to call somebody every night and tell them, yo, there's such and such car parked in the street. Like, come on. Those are suburb problems, but it's like, those are niggas with money problems. New Jersey problems, New Jersey problems. That's the bricks. That's the bricks. Hey, hey, big boy, you want to move to the hood? You should stay where you're good. Hey, that's what happens. You want to be a Dominican and go live in fucking Jersey? You got Jersey problems. You great, my guy? I'm about to pave my driveway into the street so niggas can't tell me shit. Wow. Park 20 cars in there back to back. I think what I love most about your problems are they are so unrelatable. Yeah. Like, no one else listening to this shit is like, exactly. Oh, what? Are you exactly. kidding? Exactly. Yo, Matt, yo, you, are you reading the comments, dude? Yo, mad people are like, yo, son, yo, uh, everything from the fucking no, Toys I read the Rush comments shit. and people were not like talking about paving into the driveway. The, the only people who were talking about that are you and KFC Barstool. <laughs> All right? Get the fuck out of here. Watch out, start a new podcast, yo. The Renovation Report. <laughs> the, to- the, the Toys of Rush shit. The Toys of Rush shit. Not the KFC. The the Toys of Rush shit had mad niggas in the benches like, yo, son. What Toys of Rush shit? The shit about the catalog magically appearing in your fucking mailbox every year, no matter fucking what. All right, Even that's relatable. Your address, that's that's a relatable like, general uh, thing. The, the fucking can't park your car on the street. If you live in Jersey, you, that's what, I mean, I don't know if it's a, I've literally, I've literally never saw never anyone that? complain about that. That seems like something people who live in Jersey have come to accept yeah. and it's not a shock to them. I hate that. It's obnoxious. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not, even, I'm not even there for a year yet. So I'm still getting used to some things, but it's annoying. As hard as you was going for three years about going to move to Jersey, you didn't know that was going to be a thing? I had no idea. I had no idea. I just researched property values, taxes, and shit like that. I didn't, you know, uh, research miscellaneous bullshit. Next time I move to somewhere, like to Alpine or some shit, I'm going to research miscellaneous bullshit. Are you not finished moving? Nah, probably not. Probably not. I might go deeper. You know what I'm saying? Move next to like, yo, CC, what up, nigga? Holla at me. You know what I'm saying? I move next to CC. CC's like, don't move near me, nigga. <laughs> That's right. Don't yeah. move near me. Nigga. Yeah. Me and CC starting a funk band, so don't fuck that shit up. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. But yeah, nah, boom, um, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, I'm not even building spots up. But I saw a nice house on Kent Street. Five bedrooms. A house on Kent Street? H O U S E or. Like an actual house? What part of house do you not fucking understand? Yeah, I said house. Because when you said house on Kent in Brooklyn, this is Williamsburg. <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm like. Bro, I'm just, boy, I'm radio. Just, if I just told you I saw a house on Kent Street, I saw a motherfucking house on Kent Street. Right. Keep up. Okay. And I'm hoping that you're not saying that you're going to buy it because that shit is probably $18 million. <laughs> <laughs> 3.5 mil, okay? Oh Get your shit right. <laughs> it's five. It's three units. It's five bedrooms, three bathrooms. That is I'm saying you could, you, could, you could. That's a steal. For, for a townhouse I can't have, that one block fucking, away from the water, that no. is a steal. All right? The same way you worry about Jersey, I worry about Williamsburg. That is a steal that from Williamsburg. That, move, that house is going to be worth almost triple that in three years. Oh my so... God. I'm not saying I'm copying. I'm just saying if y'all listening, maybe one of y'all copying. <laughs> I don't got 
townhouse in Kent Street money. But that's what I'm saying. That's wild. I'm just saying you gotta speak it into existence. That's a fact. I'm saying I'm gonna have to listen by by this time in May. I'm gonna have the wild dickhead apartment. <laughs> Okay, right. and that shit might have nothing to do with this. That might be so. I might just sell some nukes or some shit. Okay, <laughs> niggas not get standing on my bread. I'm gonna start running guns to Israel. Fuck this, because nothing's worse than uh being broke. That's I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, there's worse things than being broke. There's definitely worse things than being broke. You could be broke and locked. I mean, you could be locked up. No, being broke is the worst thing ever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because if you're broke, that what if you had anal cancer. If you have Stage anal cancer four. and you have no money, that's worse than just having anal cancer. Like everything, any situation you're in life is worse if you're broke. Would you rather be f- rich with stage four anal, anal cancer? Yes. Or broke? Rich with with yeah. fucking anal cancer because I could go to the best facilities <laughs> and all this shit. Like don't, people don't understand. There's a there's a huge difference in your lifestyle between when you actually not comfortable money when you have money. Versus when you don't have money. Millions of dollars. Okay? When you have money and there's nothing to go to a hospital and then they're like, you got stage four cancer. You're like, all right, give me all the treatments. Fuck it, I'll buy an iron lung for my house. You could do shit like that. Buy an iron lung for my What the fuck? Okay? But you don't got that. Any situation you could be in life, if you're popped, it makes it 10 times worse. Say you oh, have yeah. a, you driving to work you and you're broke and now you're getting into a car accident. Now you're your fucked. shit is super fucked. You're fucked. Now, if you, even if you had just a little bit of money, the situation's not as bad. It's just the little things. Just the little things. So to have any kind of money and just have that comfort in the back of your head, even if it's not enough, even if you know you got $100 extra in that bank account, mm-hmm. you're like, okay, I'm okay. That's one less thing to worry about. Okay. And that's why being broke sucks. Because when you don't have that little balloon there or just knowing that it's, if something goes wrong, I might have something here or maybe like a family member or something to rely on, you're good. If you don't, then everything, you got you got to be careful how you cross the street because you don't have no insurance. You can't break a limb. You can't like little things like losing your debit card for the day could possibly ruin your life. Damn. People forget that. Don't oh, ever bro. forget that shit. <laughs> Everybody making 20 grand a year listening to this is like, fuck. It's true. Like, Damn. think about it. You they, you lose your debit card in the beginning of the day. Now you're at work all day, all willy nilly. You get out. You trying to find your debit card. Can't find the shit. So now you run to the bank. The bank closed at five. Now you have no access to your money for the whole night. You haven't gotten your food. Now say your metro card Nightmare. needs to. You need money for your metro card. You forgot to refill your metro card. You don't have your debit card. How the fuck are you get home? You hop. You hop, you get arrested, TOS. you get a desk appearance ticket. Now you got a $75 ticket. You don't even have $75. Your $75 ticket, you like, forget about this shit. Now my night is popped. I got no food. I got a desk appearance ticket. I'm just going to go to sleep. Yeah. You forgot about the shit. Now your desk appearance ticket turns into what? A warrant. Oh, shit. Speaking of, I got a fucking warrant sent to my crib for for, for not appearing in court or whatever. But then, shot to Jersey. In New York just, or Jersey? Jersey. I just called the fucking precinct and I was like, yo, I got a, I got a fucking warrant in the mail. And Shorty was like, yeah, you got it for X, Y, Z. Just pay the fine. Go online. I was like, word? She's like, yeah, I race, I'm erasing the war right now. I was like, woo, boy. I was like, my name is Martinez. Does that matter? She lying. Ooh. Nah, Definitely going to air you out on the turnpike. Nah, Ooh. please. Nah, nah, fucking. So uh, let me get this straight. You white. had a you had a very joyable conversation with a police officer that ended in them doing you a solid? No, it was a secretary. Ooh. But she wiped the warrant off the nigga, gun. This nigga's living ducktails. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's living yeah, ducktails. This shit is, I'm saying, cold in, cold in, you know what I'm saying? $500 wipe the we see Miro get into the back of a Jersey police car with his hands cuffed. Oh, like, no, no, no she erased the warrant. She erased the You're warrant. Wild. You're bugging. I'll You're be like, <laughs> That's why you pay your warrants, motherfucker. Nah, bro. This shit fucking got wiped clean. I I mean, listen, I'm doing it. (laughs) Doing what? (laughs) Euro-stepping warrants, apparently. Uh, It's a different type of vibe out there. I mean, listen, you live your life. You live your life. You know, set the price on niggas and live your life for you, my niggas. That's all you could do. Shout out to all outstanding warrants, though. If you got warrants, listen, if you got a desk appearance ticket, you don't even got to deal with that shit until you got like six. That's what we're doing for Bodega Dreams. If you all have an outstanding warrant, we will pay it. Oh, nope, nope. And be a total square cash wants no parts to do with that. Sorry. No. Sorry. And also, to be clear, there's a difference between a warrant and a bench warrant. A bench warrant is not as serious as a warrant. Unless you skip court on some on an actual real charge. Like, if you got a ticket for pissing and you didn't pay this shit and you caught a bench warrant, man, that shit don't mean shit. <laughs> skip the fuck out of here, bro. Okay. Been skipping bench warrants for since 98. Okay. <laughs> well, back here in reality, a bench warrant is a very serious thing. Yeah. And unless you want the cops kicking your door at 5 a.m., please get those cleared up. For what? Bench warrants are way more serious than a warrant. Nah. That's like. Are you serious? 
a judge that you're literally in contempt of court. That means you were supposed a, to show for a, a DAT, a bench warrant that a DAT that has turned into a bench warrant means the judge called your name, you didn't show up, and now the judge is pissed. The judge authorizes your immediate arrest at any point. My, That's what a bench warrant is. Oh yeah, of course. So they do sweep and they bag you, but fucking uh, yeah, I, just, I have it on good. I have uh, it on good. It could. Uh, my magic number is six because that's my max. The most I ever ducked on DATs and went into court with the six DAT and the other ones pop up, obviously, when you go in. And you just tell them some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And you either pay a fine or you fucking boogie. Don't you know listen to Mero. He's giving bad legal advice. You know what I mean? So you know when Bards are listening to this, like, no. No, don't. The Bernie, the Bernie Sanders <laughs> give. No, like, no, no, no. No, 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 don't, no do that. don't do that. He's, don't, he's bugging. Don't, don't do that. He's bugging. Yeah, you don't got to live your life by the straight and narrow, man. Don't listen to this guy, bro. Wild out. Skip bench warrants, bro. Fuck raw. Do whatever you want to do, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Smoke dust, nigga. You All know right. what I mean? Live your fucking life because you only there's only one. Listen, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm giving y'all <laughs> advice. I like my shit ended up pretty well, so I mean, maybe you want to listen to me. I might. I'm the be, devil I on might, your shoulder. I might be. You know what I'm saying you <laughs> might want to listen to it, brother. You know what I'm saying I'm, try, I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to help y'all. I've been through it, so I don't want y'all to go through it. But if y'all want to be hard headed and go through it, go hey, through it, go through it, go through OD it, and die. You know what I'm saying? Live it, live it. Yo, go through it because I don't want you niggas living over my experience, nigga. I ain't the locks. Experience shit for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here. Skip the bench once this game. Knock and when you smoking in the staircase. You know what I mean? And then get ping. And when they go through your fucking snorkel, they find the ten dimes of haze that you had in your pocket. Listen, the you, last thing you want to do, do that. it's not like back in the days oh, watch nigga shit. Because the last thing you want to do now is get arrested. They get a swab of you. Your DNA is in the system now for life. You don't need that. You don't need that. Stay out the system, dog. Don't get locked up for dumb shit. Because once you, the problem is once you get locked up for dumb shit, getting locked up becomes normal, and then you start knowing how to take bookings naps because it's not your first time booked, and you're like, oh, this is cool, I know how to do this, but ideally you should not be going to jail ever. And yeah. if it becomes normal to you, there's something wrong with it, especially as a brown person in America. So yeah, true. avoid the bookings, beloved. It's Friday. <laughs> don't don't get locked up, my nigga. <laughs> and that's one to grow on. So to some of those you could get when I open my new legal church. Jesus Christ, it's got my new church. I've got a storefront on 168 and Third Ave. Get locked up. Uh, you know it's a good, it's a, it's a, it's a good look. You know what I'm saying? I want, I'm gonna say the youth. I don't want y'all to end up like Young Miro over here. <laughs> don't end up like me. You don't end up in like. <laughs> listen, we are gonna see Miro on locked up abroad, locked up <laughs> from Rawway. It's gonna be very sad. I'll be like, damn, you really moved to Jersey, nigga. Yeah. But I move when we put all your possessions in a plastic bag and go to the third yeah. level. So gonna have to walk half his hair breathing oh, and shit. He be like, yo, I don't understand. I don't understand how those six warrants I had that I talked about on the podcast, how they brought them up. Nah, it was just listen, when you go in, they fucking get rid of them. You pay and you pay. Listen, if they're for bullshit. I had a white coworker, she had a warrant for ten years because she rode her bike through they actually wrote no, was she the co she I don't know if she was a coworker by some sort of relation. Anyway, she had a warrant for ten years in New York City. <laughs> Because she was in a park after dark, and she got uh, some stupid fucking warrant. Like a, she got a she got a desk for his ticket, and she never went in. And one day she was running late for work, had no money on her card, hopped the turnstile. They brought up the warrant from ten years, and she was in. She was like fucking crying and like white lady. You know she's not built for that shit. So you just don't go. What? About, about, about how much time did she end up doing? She did weekends in the booking. Oh yeah. That's nigga, a ten year warrant is a ten year warrant. Like that's just not you fucking a weekend. Listen, they, they she was like black women was like hugging her and shit. Like you gonna be alright, babe. You know how it is you be in like bookings and shit. You'll like, be alright, baby. You be alright, yeah. you be alright, right, girl. Yo, for weekend in the bookings is gonna cripple you emotionally, you need to grow the fuck up. Not really. Like being locked up is not something that's normal to humans. You shouldn't be it, sitting in a room with mad other dudes and you can't have no freedom and shit. There's nothing That shit is whack. That shit's mad whack. That shit a normal human is not built for that. That shit is some animal shit. That shit is whack. Don't normalize that shit, my nigga. Jail is whack. Don't normalize that shit, my nigga. Jail is whack, and so is crack. No, it's not. Shout out to everyone that you know. What I'm saying, yeah. you know, what I'm saying, you're looking down at your gut right now. It's a little, it's a little extendo, extendo, extendo after the Thanksgiving, after the little cranberries and shit. You know, what I'm saying, now is the time. Set a goal for yourself. Hmm. Cause listen, Christmas is coming up. You was like, I'm not gonna eat that much on Thanksgiving. You lied. Go look in your fridge right now. You got like four plates of leftovers. You're gonna be eating Thanksgiving turkey for four weeks. We have been there. I've been there, my guy. Shout out to everybody enjoying leftovers. I hate leftovers. You hate leftovers? I hate leftovers. Why? I just don't I don't like I'm like just giving my shit on the spot. Like I mean, I fuck with Thanksgiving leftovers like the next day, but like a, a week from now, I'm just like, bruh. 
And everybody in my crib is eating leftovers from two a week ago. I'm like, nah, I'm good, bro. Like, I'm good. On the fucking mashed potatoes that look like a rock. You put half a stick of butter on them shits. Like, I'm straight. All right. Okay. I've been making turkey sandwiches for like three weeks of shit. <laughs> all types of shit. Turkey brulee. I've been making like fucking uh, turkey infused coffee beans. Uh, shit is hot, dog. <laughs> I'm saying niggas, niggas is different. I'm saying niggas live differently. But you know what I'm saying? So, you know, niggas live differently, but it's still the art, baby. Yeah, you know Basketball products. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. we still got that. These is nice. Assholes. Kid Mero. Number one show on late night. <laughs> Nothing but illustrious guests. You watched the ball baggies yesterday. Mm -hmm. If you want, we have, we're on Colbert on Monday. I was on Talking Dead on <laughs> Sunday. There's lots of content to go around. Ball baggies was an hour. It's an hour long. You're I don't understand how, how it's an hour long. Don't watch it and be like, yo, You're make welcome. every episode of Deeds and Marrow an hour long because every episode of Deeds and Marrow is slowly killing us, so we probably only have 50 episodes left, but it's whatever. Hey. And, I mean, what else you got? You got more art? Listen, this art dropped on a Friday, yo. So all y'all talking about, I can't speak on Monday, and you know, on Friday. Now you got on Friday, which means half of y'all are going to beef on Monday talking about with no art. With the, with, just save it. Ain't no art if, you're Monday. Monday, if you're on Monday, nigga, just save it. Um, Monday, I was expecting to get art. Like, y'all don't want to drop the art on Monday? No, you're not getting the art on Monday. You're getting it on Friday, okay? Friday, you're getting the 90 degree art. That's all you get. Enjoy it. Enjoy, Enjoy that. Okay? Because it's been episode 90, my niggas. Cheer. That's all you get. It's the late night edition. It's getting. I don't like being in Red Bull when it's dark like that. Cause you know what I'm saying. It's like mood lighting. And niggas start looking at each other a little ways. You know what I'm saying. We not. We not trying to eat over there. Yo, shout out to my man, Big Victor in the building. Yeah. Gang, gang, iPhone X gang over here. Yeah. He's the last holdout right here. Bubbles. How them earpods sound, my guy? Incredible. Ah, my man's out here ear dropping, <laughs> face sobbing. <laughs> my man's out here doing all that shit. All right. Don't fall for that droid shit. They, Apple cut the check. They didn't. Mm -hmm. Apple and Range Rover cut the... Anytime you're a product mentioned on this podcast, they paid at least $90,000 for a placement. So, so if you want to be on here, come through with that bag of $90,000. At least one fifty. dollars Okay? So you, you know dig. what it is. Also, catch me next week. I'm on Love and Hip Hop. I'm uh, <laughs> the boyfriend, the dream door. We're going to go to City Island. Shit's going to be litty. Talk to me nice. Oh, okay? <laughs> Talk to me nice. All right? So, me, her, and Safari putting in bundles. You know what it is. Oh, God. The brand is strong, and the brand's about to take some bad opportunities and right turns. <laughs> <laughs> when you see him in a Kotex ad and they're not using the blue ink, you know what it is. Ew. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you got it on my white pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's no. been episode 90. Yeah. It's your boy D's Nice, aka D Device, aka Young Chipotle, aka Pocket Safe Fat Lateral, aka Chris Apple Sling Dick, Eli Lippy, Butch's Bully Gully, Slobin' I Might Know You Bitch, Young Day Party, Young Hot Take, DJ Fuego, Mr. Nando's with a Rondo, Middle of the Center of the Night, Quattro, New York, Mikhail going off the Juvie Boss, MC looking Gumpy, put up for 40 with your shorty, aka Don't Talk to Me in the Uber Pool. I don't fucking know you, though. Don't read no more, plus one guy, plus one, don't make a fuss, son. DJ Rossi, the Jamaican Jew, Jermaine Avocado Toast, Young Pop, the Ghost of Mufasa, Young Chakuni, Rock Kuni, aka Chili Lamon, left hand reliever for the Yankees, Kalo K. Kalo K. Jay's game, Akuzaka, three phone Jones, Jesus A. Machina, Jay Chuckle, Stanley Cups, The Human Doctor Bonders label, Dilute, 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 DNA, Dilute, Trapio, Mr. 240P, Kalak, my Pinot Blurry, DJ Woolai, and Kira Listen to Watch FM. Damn. Up next. You know who we have up next? Who's, who's, who's it? Who's it? We got, we got A plus. Do you remember A plus? Oh my god! Wow! No, wow. The Curry Goat, Jesus Spicer, Jamal Ashford, the Barcelona Dion, Ray Nephew, Nephew, the Moreno, you can't contain him. The wow. Human Meme, where the job? It just dawned on me. A plus probably listens to the podcast. Mm. The Young Aaron, racist provocateur, Eric Bunquist, Nelson Bank, Della, Sergio can't see me. He's, he's telling people he's like, yo, I, I was A plus. Oh, yeah. I want this thing on yeah. the music box. <laughs> Sergio can't see me. Vladimir Bufin, Dude, his words are melting in my mouth. Mr. Bex Altekete, he's going to the conference room like, yo, look, I had a song with cannabis. See, look at this. Greg Popovich, more sage with uh, Muhammad Gambi. Yo, I was flowing. I was the young boy. Remember Listen, Ron's like, very lyrical. Now I'm a hot baby, but I got the cucumber. <laughs> the juices are pressed, but your boy never is. I am the art, damn it. The Dada Ganoush. These niggas gonna tell A plus to put them paper back in the fucking printer. What? I think not, nigga. Fuck your toner. Nigga, I was in source, untied hype. No more cup of noodles. The Prince of Peckham, the Fashion Nova, Casanova. William H. Cent, five cent, ten cent dollar. Forget the small change. Give me big money wine. And I mean, the whole thing was I didn't sign a contract with Bad Boy, so I didn't get jerked like a lot of the younger artists at the time. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. You know, just doing what I'm doing. Okay. The only anthem I select the dip set. This is Saga. Catch me at the square one. Top left, man. Zem is Marv. Trill, Rizzuto, no, holy cow. cow. I'm driving home, Margaret. <clears throat> Mr. Soft Palms, who all I do is count checks and jerk off. We Whoa. got OJ, Purple Stuff, Soda, and it's me, Sunny D. Hey. David, you're man. That's uh, David Yerman. He makes oh, a jewelry. Jewelry, jewelry. Uh, jewelry. Mr. Shopping at CD, you bad breeze. Like, I'm easy. Please believe me. The black AJ added crack your back like an automatic craft bag. Mr. La Marina, Mesh Marina, with a fresh Marina, and fresh Mr. Mina, a cold demeanor, aka a problematic bay. And here's my hot take A plus was one of the best rappers ever, and Jews kept him out the game. 
Wow, 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 wow. Holy shit. Fuego. Anti-Semitism. Huh? Yo, it's is your it anti, boy. Is it anti-Semitism? If it's facts. <laughs> God damn! I'm a touch in the building. It's your boy, the Kid Marrow, aka the Human Direct Flap, aka Donovan McTab, nigga, aka Curve Scotty, aka Trans Khalifa, aka Skirt Loader, aka James Fatic. Oh, ghost on you, shorty. Stay tuned for season five. I'm gonna fuck shit up. Aka I know fucking baby, I fucking man. Look at my dad. Aka check the guest list again. You fucking coward. My name's definitely on it, right next to David Carradine. What the fuck? You that nigga's dead? How the fuck is he on the list and he's dead and you letting you letting him in and you ain't letting me in, nigga? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yo, else chop this nigga, man. Yikes. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. I'll go down the water slide at Kalahari, stand up and risk severe injury to my ribs, nigga, to impress my kids. You know why? Because I'm the fucking d d dad of the year, a.k.a. Ben Smack Biombo, a.k.a. Field the Ass Tyson, a.k.a. Friday on Messi MVP of La Mota, a.k.a. Tom Brazy. Sure, you got my balls kind of deflated, but you know what I'm saying? We're still out here making moves. You know what I mean? Shout out to Billy. A.k.a. The Dominican Don Dada, a.k.a. Bartolo Santana, so smooth, a.k.a. Blem de la Blem, I'm Blem for real, a.k.a. Romeo Santos, tu favorito, mami. <laughs> so Danny. <laughs> Let me black out. I'll kiss a girl in the mouth at a concert. <laughs> you won't do shit, nigga. Cause you a pussy. <laughs> Toca la guitarra, papi. Hey, hey, dick in your bay, mutombo. They call me dick in your bay because I put my dick in your bay, nigga. <laughs> and you don't call me this pussy no more. It belongs to me now, nigga. I run this shit like I run the Congo. Oh no. You understand that? Oh no. Huh? Oh no. Ben Barson, <laughs> my glands, are, my hands are so gifted. I'll replace your frontal lobe with a Nintendo Switch. Now your brain speaks Japanese. Konnichiwa, bitches. <laughs> Candy. Whip them the memes and leftover joints. <laughs> AKA Light Nail Touchy. Hello. Is it weird you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. That you're broke and sing a five. Yo, it's Thanksgiving. This is damn Thanksgiving, man, nigga. If you went, if, if you do five dollars on the Thanksgiving blunt, you're a disgrace to the family. And we're disowning you. Not, we're not inviting you next year. All right? I'll open your fucking medicine cabinet, dog. Please secure your benzos, you fucking wing. Cause it's the Zen, man. It's gonna read a bottle boat. AKA Rico Sabroso. AKA Baby Newport. AKA Daniel Beddingfield. Mm, I ain't gotta get some sticks. Mm, I ain't gotta get some sticks. AKA Nino Brown. AKA the East Stream on Stevie B. I wanna be the one you think D is fucking. Y'all. Oh, we dropping this uh, trap freestyle album with Future. It's coming out next week. Holla, <laughs> aka from across the pond, mate. I don't fuck with grime music. It's no real rosters anymore. What kind of name is Stormzy in it? <laughs> fuck, what kind of name is that? <laughs> it's the plantain supernova in the sky. Someday you will find me smoking weed on Tremont. Passed out in my Porsche listening to Little Pump. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. <laughs> I pull up from 50. God damn. I'm not dancing with you before the game, dog. I don't do that shit. Nigga, you know who I am? Bormelo Anthony. For three. Bang. Dog, if you see me in Target buying out the no-bake Reese's dessert bars, you know what you need to do, nigga. Respect my fucking agency. Approach me with caution as you would an ursine mammal. Okay? Hasta tiro la pita, coño. Que fue. Llega la grasa, dijo Tito y FIFA, coño. Siendo un coro malo con traficante y chapeadora. Bajando con la nota más alta que el toto de un jirafa. En flow no se vende, pero soy, si tú quieres te los rento para los monlata. Hagan fila que todo el mundo quiere un chin del más chulo. Que burla. Yo, we had a go for this weekend. <laughs> so, like the hooks. Hotter than a cold, baby. Uh, <laughs> episode 90. Episode 90. Okay. I just like Enjoy to uh, give my it. condolences. Because someone was just murdered on the floor of Massacre Garden. So you guys know this is real. It's your man, Cantor, on one Serge Ibaka. What happened? Oh. Well, you're, you're such a sick fuck that I thought that somebody actually got killed in Madison Square Garden and then you were showing us over here. Don't come in the fucking paint. Damn. Pull that. He still go out with a uh, Carrie Hilson. Not after that. Nah. Just damn. That she just broke up with that nigga via text. She was like, you know what's going on this pussy, no boy. <laughs> no, no, that's it. <laughs> Sorry, but episode 90. <laughs> you know what it is? Next tape forever. Yeah. Ah! We out. Peace.